three, two, one, go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Technocrat Live. I'm Matt Newhall, and here is Matt Santarpia and Mike Monday of the Everyday Nonsense Podcast. And these guys are great. You guys are really funny, and uh, you have the gift of gab. You've got great voices, and you've got a great uh, you presence. You are too kind. Yeah, and, we appreciate it. Yeah, I, I appreciate really it. wanted to have you on my show well, because this is a big honor for us. This is a, you know, this way I could actually look funny for at least a couple of hours during my uh, right. Well, there's a few things in life, and I think you would agree, Mike, that we really uh, take notes. You know. Go ahead. We realize how special they are, right? Right, I like think a, the, the birth, birth of, of our a, kids, right, right, right. right? The, yeah. the meeting of our, our spouses, our wives, and being on this podcast. Being on when the they met each other, or when you met the them. <laughs> <laughs> and being on this podcast <laughs> right. is really exciting. Technocrat is right there. Yeah. yeah, it's up there. Right it's there. Up there. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's close. When the wives meet is also pretty important. Yeah. I found out. You that's know, true. first impressions. You know, no, that's a big deal. We've been friends for so long that that's definitely a big deal, right? Right. Now, Mike and I have known each other for over twenty years. And we've known each other right. almost 20 years. Almost and you know years. my wife because you are, you know, best friends with my brother-in-law. Right. You know my wife over 20 years. Who I invited to be here, by the way. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was on, right? Wasn't Brad he was, on? Yeah, Brad yeah, Dillon, if you that. missed that. Yeah. It's a good one. Check it out. He's very... He and I could not stop laughing. Well, I mean, you know the each other how the, many years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just... He was he was playing... He, he lied. He really was playing hangman with himself. Right. <laughs> like, for, for the first 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I hope that's not an indication of how things are expected. It to go. Well, he insisted that he insisted that he wasn't doing that when we went live, and I'm like, "You were playing hangout." Yeah, well, that, that totally sums it up. You. Well, I, also, I wonder who won. We want to thank Steve, our engineer, though. Steve, yeah, right yeah. now you can't what, see. What, 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 Steve, Steve, go, Steve. What, what. he makes us look very good. Nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. So we're here anyway, oh, and, he, and, and he can actually outshout us when he needs right. us to shut no, the hell up. <laughs> nice to have an engineer. Let me tell you, it's nice. A professional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it was a lot of fun for us, man. I appreciate you having us on. It's cool. Yeah, yeah this is this is this part of a live show. Is you absolutely have to have an engineer. Like I could do the stuff that Steve's doing. I don't know if I could do it as well. Not 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 trying to brag. Or How anything. could you talk and then do everything? Yeah, you and then can't. You can't. You know the levels, the light. Yeah, I mean, you the maybe plants. could do some no, of it. The plants, right? right. The you need to be watered right. periodically. Yeah. He's going over the spritzer while we're here. <laughs> right, right. He does it all. He's painting. I saw him doing some light spackling. Yeah, right. In. This brick wall is brand very new. Good. He's right. very good. He's very good. Very good. He's a one-stop shop, that's Steve. Big Steve. Way to be. All right. So if you guys have any questions, you can ask him. That's how we do things here. So you know, if there's like, we can you know, ask like who? Steve. We can ask Steve? You can ask Steve if you have. We need a fact check. Oh, right. You mentioned that. Oh, fact check. See, that's the one thing about our show that we have a disclaimer almost every show that right. we do not fact check and yeah. we will say things right. and they might not be true I and you need to check. accept that if you're going to listen to we'll it. check. You know, it's funny because this is like so. I'm I'm come from the sys the sysadmin world, and everything is all about credibility, right? So I'm just super. Wait, what used world to be are you from? from? I'm sorry. From? The, the sysadmin world, the, the computer, sys oh, the uh, system, system administration. administration, the system administration. Admin oh, we yeah. are literally responsible for a hundred or a thousand or ten thousand computers, and like you know, people's payroll and whatever the business strategy is. You literally can see this data. Yeah, you, you can. They often ask you to fix operate it. Operate today. Am I right? Without a computer. You I mean, no, no way. Can't do anything. A person can't yeah, operate you, you without can't one. Imagine not having your phone. You're singing my song. Right? No, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and if memory serves me correctly, weren't you uh, in charge of a huge hospital system administration or school system? Uh, yeah, well, so I, I've, I've worked at multiple universities. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the stuff that you, you have right. to fix, I mean, sometimes it's just, especially if it's an emergency, there's no, it's just, okay, you're on, you know. So it's you know, he's yeah. the reason we got that F. <laughs> I know it. It's the IT guy. Yeah, he's like in I war games, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. Would you like to right. play a game? <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, this is this is the life of the technocrat. You have all these. So, like, like I got used to this idea that my credibility. You know, I like being silly. Sure, I'm, I'm friends with Brad. Yeah, right. You're you know, friends I mean, with silly people. I'm friends with silly people, and I'm used to not like me. I'm friends. With I'm Brad. used no, to all straight edge, be serious, factual, edge. and I, it just turns me into brainy Smurf. Right. And I mean, you know, <laughs> it's really hard to balance, you know, being goofy and fun, and along with actually also maintaining a reputation for being serious. What, so what I'm actually thinking about going into comedy to try to get to merge. The two. Wow! Look at you. I don't even know how to do it. I mean, I just, I just have to throw myself in there. I don't know right. what else to do. You could be the techno mat. Oh, the techno -mat. 
Oh, oh, I like that one. Right. How about that? That could Steve, be your comedy that name. What? How about that? The what? Techno Mac. Well, we got two Macs here. That's going to be good. It's very easy for me. I said that's right. why. <laughs> that's why we had the name. Before we came over here, I was like, the only reason I'm doing this is because his name is Matt. And I don't have to remember. <laughs> Matt. That's right. It's yeah, so in easy. computer science, we call that a name collision. Yeah. But, you know, there's a scope <laughs> error. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, uh, um, um, Let's see. So I wanted to ask you guys about how you got the idea to get into a podcast. Oh, really? Right. Like, when did you originally conceive of this? I mean, I know you started it recently, but you, you mentioned on one of your shows it was I early think, on Mike, you've got to answer that, but I think we've been talking, doing this. It feels like we've been doing this our whole lives. Well, it goes way back when we were in high school. We did um, when theater I was together. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was a nose with legs. I was only this tall. That's right. We did theater together. Right. Surprise, and surprise. we had a lot of friends in the theater department, whatever. We were kind of goofy people or whatever. So right. we back then, we actually made uh, cassette tape recordings of ourselves hanging out right. in Matt's house. He had converted right. his garage into the lounge, right. which is where we hung out with right, these right. old like Victorian couches yeah, like and Cadillac old, hubcaps uh, uh, an all over the world. A detached garage. Yeah. Right, right. A dartboard. We play Monopoly yeah. way too much for people to play Monopoly, right? And we would record then, and then we kind of forgot about it. And then fast forward to this past Super Bowl. What were you recording with? Was it like a, just a, like a, a Walkman yeah. or something? Not, not even, even a Walkman. No, you know the ones with the big buttons in the front? A Victrola. Remember those things? No. <laughs> was it a Victrola? Yeah. We were recording player piano no soundtracks. Mary had later. a little lamb. Right, exactly. Fleece was white as no, but it was an old. That was like one of those ones. You know, it's kind of flat. The tape it comes yeah, up with top loading. Yeah, an old recorder. Like put right, the tape yeah. in, hit record and play at the same time to record. Something our kids wouldn't even know what it is. And by no, the way, no, just no. for the record, in case you were wondering if they're really like this, they are. This yeah, is totally really like unscripted. This. This, is this is the script. I haven't even really looked at it yet. Heavily, so. yeah, no. heavily it's medicated. Just, but unscripted. <laughs> That's right. So anyway, fast forward to this past Super Bowl. Matt was at my house for a party or whatever. Right. And we were just kind of hanging out, you know. And I think right then I was like, "Let's let's do a podcast." We right. And my cousin was there, and she's like, "You guys should totally do a podcast." Yeah. Right. So we uh, said, "All right." We went and got a little bit of equipment set up in my basement, and uh, you know, the saloon. And that, and the rest is history. And that's caught yeah. on fire. Yeah, we us. started recording we started in March. It. I caught your first episode. Right. Christine. Right. Christine reposted it on. Oh, it. very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, "What?" And I like, I checked it out. And I'm like, "These guys are great." Oh, thank. What oh, is going oh, on? Well, thank you. So I've been. I've actually watched, listened to all. All your episodes. So. Oh wow! I, mean, I, awesome. I, I watched great. it too, but it was very boring. He, he's the one, picture. right? It doesn't change. It doesn't change. We did do like, a Facebook nothing's, Live. Nothing's though. changing. It's just it always looks the same. Yeah. Always yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, it's a damn nice picture, though, isn't it? <laughs> it's a very good picture. I feel like I, I feel like I'm there. Right. right. You know? yeah, that's that's like kind of our idea, right? Like we want you to feel like you're at the bar or, or right. my you're, house you're, or you're, our you're house, just hanging out. Conversation. We make sure we crack beers into the microphone, things like that. Exactly. Nice. You know, make it seem like. So, is it, is, are you actually cracking beers into the microphone every time, or is that sound effects like a pr like a? No, edit? Mike is actually cracking multiple <laughs> beers yeah. on the microphone. <laughs> right. I wasn't talking about how many beers, yeah, but that's funny that's too. That's all real. I can assure yeah. you. A couple, no of them, a couple of them are drops. Oh, thank you for supplying well, beers, by the way. Few, of course. <laughs> right, but very few. Right, right, right. In fact, we make sure we wait to open. Eight, wait to right. open it. I'll simply sit in there, yeah, waiting yeah. for the opportune time to make that sound happen. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. So, like. Um, uh, so we have a we do a segment on here. Uh, I just do a quick news segment for the people who watch every All right. every week. So I'm just gonna go. Through, feel free to chime in. Yeah, love to chime love in. Chime on the news. It's, right. it's actually a pretty slow week, but it's just it's just. It's is it about the Russians? It's it's not about the Russians. Oh. So I, I gotta oh. tell Mike you, is Russian. I gotta tell you, there's one thing about. So it is. It was not shocking at all when anything about Russia and hacking came into the news because if you are in the business and you're just sitting. In the computer, looking at the log files, seeing stuff come in for the internet. There's attacks coming from the whole planet. Most people don't realize this. The freaking the internet is a global war. There is a constant warm war. Wow. You make me nervous when he really? says it's yeah, a global war. I, I want to turn war. off my phone right I know, now. Really, shut the phone off. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it down. I have an M80 so, in my pocket right war. now. What the hell are we doing? Right, the it's podcast. like you know, it's like China and Korea and Russia and Listen, Israel. And Russia's, the States Russia's and been bothering Europe us and, since Rocky. Right. Hey, have we learned nothing? From Rocky, <laughs> but by Rocky Five they came right. around. Right? Remember the Rocky end? I would five. destroy right. you. Right. <laughs> at the end, Gorbachev stood up and clapped for Rocky. Well, yeah. I, at the 
end of the Rocky oh was God. Rocky. I think what we found out here is that Rocky started the internet, and this is why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that where we're going? Right? I think that's where yeah, we're going. We, we, we thought it was Al Gore, but it turns yeah. out it was Rocky. Turns out it was Rocky. Stallone, I put my money and on Gorby. Many Rocky and Gorby. Together. Rocky and Gorby. Yeah. It, was a, it was a joint venture. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm never surprised about the hacking. But not just Russia. I mean, I'm joking, but any country. I mean, that's their biggest asset. Right. I mean, they, they're not going to beat us militarily. Right. They're going to beat us where it hurts, well, and that's with the computer. Right. <laughs> well, no, but that's right? absolutely right. I mean, you shut a, you shut a country's power grid down. We, you own them. You can't turn your laptop or your phone on. I have a heart attack. Right. I'm at work today. My my surface wouldn't boot up. And <laughs> you like, oh your phone, my God, baby. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, what's going on? Right. We can't work without anything. Well, even right. on a smaller level, like my, I know my sister recently went to get her, sc her screen fixed right. on her phone. She picks it up. You know, a half an hour later, the screen is fixed, and she gets like 25 calls from Bangladesh right. instantly right after she picks up the phone. Oh, that was me. I'm sorry. Right, you know? right, right. So she goes back. It's even on that smaller level. Yeah, yeah. yeah they might and even have pain. Well, it, it, so that right. could have happened a bunch of different ways. They could have put a piece of software on there that just phone, you know, sent a packet back over the internet and said, "Help, here's the phone number." It could have happened because the person actually sold them out and gave them, and you know, and and emailed the phone number out to you know for a dollar. Right. You know, because there's a, there's markets for these things. Oh, a dollar. Huh? You know, a dollar for a number. A dollar. That's not bad. Mm. It's fine. I'm probably over. And, uh, what's your yeah. number? What's your number? <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you want to text us your number? Uh. But is there a real way? I'm just thinking of this as you're talking, Matt. Is there a way really to stop it? I mean, these companies, it's my company, every giant company invests it's an arms race. millions and hundreds of millions and billions right. of dollars, right? But the technology, I think, changes so quickly. I could be. I am not a technology guy either, you're not? Is Matt, but we're interested in it. So, right? like, you know, so, so, so this is this is one of the things. This happens that, you know, the, the thing that most people don't realize is this even happens to the pros. People get into technology vapor lock. Literally, the technologies are changing faster than people can make the words for them. Right. Colleges can't write curriculums for what's going on out there anymore because That's by the time true. they've written That's the true. curriculum yeah. for a four-year degree, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. That's it. Well, it's I like mean, steroids in baseball. Same thing. You, you know, right. they change what they're taking because the test caught up with that. So now they're ahead of the game. The test catches up, and the steroids jump ahead. Like, you know, that's why I don't do steroids anymore. Well, right, but like, except my nose. You are paying the price. I inject my so nose. Yeah, right. <laughs> you should see his back knee. He yeah. still has. It's disgusting. <laughs> Luckily, it's covered up with hair. <laughs> What's worse than back knee is hair covered back knee. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, anyway, I, we could talk about He's hacking. Engelbert Humperdinck that. shaved into his. <laughs> back. <laughs> bless you, Steve. God bless you, Steve. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Ah. <laughs> he he's, he's allergic. <laughs> yeah, Steve, Steve's actually got a, a, a band that, that, that is, uh, uh, all the members are in different countries or, or in different places all over the world. Really? So, yeah, what? he's a musician. He's a singer. How do you do band. a concert? Well, I, they're working on that. They're writing an album right now. Five they're going to tour. Tour. Wow. They're going to meet and tour. Oh, you're going to meet together until you're not going to tour on screens. No, we're going to meet together. Oh, that would be spectacular. Like though. giant screens. Yeah, right. you're right, yeah. All those shows in New York. Wow, let us know. That's interesting. Like Max Hedrum. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That'd be awesome. Yeah, man, it's really like, you know, and, and because they can just, you know, collaborate over the internet. Wow, they that is just, very cool. They just, you know, send each other the clips and... Yeah, but I have heard that. I have heard people collaborating, uh, making albums and musicians over the internet. Well, we've heard that. Sounds right? like a front for hackers yeah, to me. Yeah, sounds like yeah. a hacking uh, scheme hacking to front. me, Steve. Yeah, and once in a while, their, all their phone numbers get sold. So. Right, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> right. Uh, all right, so cool. Uh, so the, the we didn't even get to the news. No, no, I'm it. sorry. No, We're sorry about that. No, no, you, about it's that. perfect, man. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so um, greed uh, and glad flies are the co are the are the, are the topics. So uh, the greed one is actually kind of good. The greed lost, at least in Ohio. So I don't know if red light cameras piss you guys off. Yeah, I don't like them. But uh, you know what? It turns out no one does. No one likes. And no one them. in Ohio likes them either. Except the red light manufacturer. Yeah, except yeah, and, and, the guy that makes and them. And the politicians. Right. Because they get lots of tax revenue from it. Right. So uh, in Ohio, they basically said that you have to. They change the standard for by which they're allowed to put red light cameras up. Now they're going to put red light cameras up. Uh, this just happened this week. That they, they, they can only put red light cameras if it's if it reduces a safety risk. You know, in other words, if they make right, an intersection right. safer, right. you can't just put them up for money anymore. Right. Oh, so, this so is it's a not huge, a uh, yeah. Okay. This is a huge. So I think change. I've read. It's just in one state, but I could be wrong. But I think I read that the re most recent study about the red light cameras, at least around here, were that there are more accidents but less severe. So there's been less severe mm. injuries, deaths, whatever at these intersections. However, there's more fender benders. Right. 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 I right. can see that. Right. Because you know, one person's like, down. I can make the it. The minute you right. hear to see the light, you're like. Arr! 
Yeah, which, everyone slows right. down to nothing, you know, <laughs> which, from 60 miles an hour. Which reminds me of our next episode about the bumper bullies and how ridiculous right. those are. Right, those that bumper kind of guards. Place, they, right, maybe that's why. Maybe because of the red light cameras now people are putting I, I, bumper I, I bullies gotta be honest. on their 94 Saturns. <laughs> yeah. You know? I, I, I've got the Marauder, you know, Marauder, burnouts, no problem. Yeah, you well, know, that's a cop Burnouts all day. Like, yeah. So whenever I'm at a red light, uh, a, a, a red light camera, red light, when it turns green, burnout. You go. But you don't have a bumper yeah. bully on that thing. Um, I actually, I do. No way, yeah, you're a bumper yeah, bully guy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> oh my. I'm surprised you have a bumper bully. I have At bars. least it's on a nice car. Yeah, I, have, a classic I have bars car. on all my cars, but it's not to, uh, the, the, I don't like bump into other people. It's right. other, the, the rear bumper on the Marauder. Well, it's the a big car, value, too. It's a big car. Yeah. Because it's a rare bumper, it's $2,500. Just for the bumper. Just right. for the bumper. Wow. Someone slammed in the back of me at uh, the stop sign. I'm sorry so, about that, but. Without, you know, but, you know, the, so I put a trailer hitch. And I put um, uh, actually, it's a uh, it, it absorbs the blow. It has a rubber uh, a, a set of a rubber impact uh, mechanism. Wow! And uh, between the trailer hitch and a, and a metal bar, and if someone hits the back of me, it absorbs up to five. Look miles at that! Power. Well, that's not a bumper bully. That's no, different. we're thinking of like that's that, legit that, cool. that, that, that cover on a bumper. Right. right. The oh, thing, you know, the flap, like yeah, the mud flap. flap oh, they yeah. suck! Right. Yeah, yeah, you. Right. No, 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 no. You, you have the I'm real deal. Say, man, I'm glad no, no, I have like fucking like it looks like Mad Max, like bars coming out of the cars and stuff. <laughs> that is indeed a bumper bully. Yeah, that's there. a real bully. But we, we talk about how you only oh, see those great, thanks. on like 94 oh. Saturns or 89 right. Sunbirds. You know, like nobody was oh, a really nice Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate oh, that. Steve. I got input on the news. So I actually, yeah, I, I didn't put that on my news, but I should have. But well, yeah, so I have. Um, um, Forget the, the 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 van. So I have a you know I have a, a four RV. by four van. Yeah. Well, it's I guess somebody would technically call it a class B, but it's just uh, uh, the the bumper on the front of it is like a moose stopper. Really, mm. is what it's meant so that if you hit an animal, because we we're going to go cross country with it. Oh boy. You know. So if we went we went cross country with it, and if I hit an animal, it wouldn't disable the van. No, you. Yeah. I mean, it would bend Especially it. Especially if you backed into it with right. that thing. Behind <laughs> it. Oh, well, it wouldn't help if it was going back. Right? You'd be the best hunter going. Yeah. yeah. You hit a moose. And that way, if we're hungry, we just, you know, oh, you know, aim right, for yeah. them instead of avoiding <laughs> them. Fresh venison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, all right, so that was the one news thing. Uh, there's another one. Uh, so the Gladflies one is actually, so there was a thing with Trump uh, where they... Um, they ruled the court ruled and it's either a federal court or the Supreme Court. I don't know which one ruled that Trump's not allowed to block his critics. Oh, I I read that. Y so the if you're a public figure, you can't block your right. Critics on that's, Twitter. It's not just about Trump. It's about all right. Public all figures. public right. figures, which is interesting. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean mean now, so now someone can sit there and heckle you. So Mike, you can't block me. So if you run for office. He can't block you. Well, right, right. I mean, you can't block him. Right, right. He but can the institution you can if it's out of control, right? So Twitter can step in and block this. User. Right, right. So he can still report, or anybody can just report anyone they want. Right, right. But it has to be egregious. Well, I think that's good. Egregious. So, so right, you like that? Five dollar word. Here's the interesting thing: there could nice. be case law where it led to a situation where. Um, the terms of service of one of those media companies could actually be called into question. Are you are you consistently administering it? Right. Are you favoring one politician over another? Right. As an extension of but it goes as, to everybody as a case law extension right. of that law. I think it's a of that ruling. I, I would agree with that. I'm for it. I, I'm okay with it too. Huh? I, yeah, I, but can't you? And correct me if I'm wrong. But can't you're you wrong. mute? <laughs> you're wrong. Can't you mute someone on Twitter? Um, uh, you can. Yes. And what, is, what does that mean? It means you don't see their comments. You don't see them exist. and they don't see you. So then why don't you just do that? You don't Anyone? See, it's just you don't see them. You don't oh, see them, the right. voice? Oh, you don't see right. them. Right. Okay. But if I, I went onto that Twitter page, I'm so I would see I'm so censorship I just put up with the fire hose. So, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's an open format. Right, right, right. I just let anyone post anything to me or I post anything. You know, I, I never block anyone because I'm just like, I'll just deal with it. Right, yeah. right, you know? right. Because yeah, yeah. what if they're right once, right, you know? Well, that's the thing, man. you got to sometimes take them seriously, too. Right, right. you got to take them seriously because it doesn't even matter if you don't really, someone else takes them well, seriously. Well, negative doesn't mean wrong. Right. Everyone needs right? critics. Like, <laughs> well, everyone. some people are just wrong. Everyone <laughs> needs critics. Right. Of, course, so, of course people are wrong. But <laughs> but like every negative someone's comment. wrong on the internet. <laughs> right, but every negative comment isn't wrong. Right, that's right. right. You know, exactly. And it, makes you, it pushes you to think a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hate them. I don't want any negative comments. Well, that's why I don't show them to you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to hear any negative news. Yeah, either, that's it. It's good to have a friend like that. Yeah, I just Nothing take the fire negative. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Mass really. resistance to yeah. social media. <laughs> we're still trying to convince him, and we're making. I think we're going to make it mandatory and step into I'm a contract close. about I'm close. he needs you're, a Twitter account. Yeah. I don't have a personal Twitter account. The show. 
you know, has a Twitter account, Everyday right. Nonsense podcast. Right, at E V R Y Day right. Nonsense. But no I don't e. have a personal one. You have a personal one? Uh, on, on Twitter? Yeah. Yeah, I have a personal Steve, one. Steve, you have a personal one? Kinda. Oh, kinda. Kinda. Incognito. Wow, Steve look at that. It's for music. <laughs> it's for music. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Twitter's my favorite out and of I all. I know you have one. Yeah. I, don't really, I don't really hide who I am, so, you know, uh, but. I can understand why someone else would. See, the problem with anonymity is it's a, it's a strategy. Right. It's not, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, anonymity is in, in, inevitable. And one of the, you start seeing things differently when you're, like, a, as a technocrat, when you realize how encryption works. So encryption is an arms race, just like the internet attacking everybody else. Interesting. So when, when, um, uh, when someone writes an encryption algorithm, people will find flaws in it. It's actually really hard to do encryption right, because first of all, the algorithm itself has to be right, then the implementation has to be right. So it ha and everything has to be perfect, and, in, and the mistakes are found. So what could happen is if two people are interacting on the internet, someone could record their session, not have any idea what they're saying, right. but it just looks like gobbledygook, and then five years later, when someone cracks the encryption, they can decrypt it and see what they were saying five years ago. Interesting. Right? Right. Wow, who would have so known that? People, well, computer geeks right, would know right, that, right. right? Sounds like they do. Is that coding? Uh, encryption, is that what coding it, well, is? Well, coding is when you write a program. Right, right. Okay. So uh, a simplest program in the world, the one that most people start with is Jumpman Jr. 10 go to 20, <laughs> uh, 20 go to 10, right? 20 go 10, to 10 print. Print Matt is awesome. Right. Tw Twenty go to ten, and it just prints it over and over. Okay. And that's the first program everybody writes. And that's been like that and forever. So, and that's a loop. Really? You, yeah. You just right. do the same. I thing remember. In, excuse me. One second. I'll, and then I'll, no, no, it's fine. Go ahead. Right. Talk over you. But um, in grammar school. We learned that very thing on like Atari 26s, not even Commodore 64. Well, I didn't go to grammar But when we had computers, it was those simple coding, but it was the same thing. First thing you learned 30 years ago, 35 right. years ago, right. was creating this loop 10 go to 20. I remember that. Wow. Yeah. So I'm a, I guess I'm a I coder. I guess that. I can code. Yeah. Well, if you wrote a program, you can code, right? <laughs> so. I did, man. It was a ball that went like this. Well, and then it went back here and it kept going like that. In our circle, it's very funny, Matt, but in our circle, Matt, uh, Mike is the most technologically advanced out of all of us mm -hmm. and we have a small group and that's really sad. That's think. saying something. But we right. go to him for right. our technical questions. I can't set my think, watch. Right. We think he's pretty advanced and now we hear this and we're like, what oh, the heck is going yeah. on? So yeah. it's fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was trying to get me to set his watch before the show. I can't set his watch either, so. <laughs> 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 it's not going to happen, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, well, the thing is like, so, so. Can you set my VCR every, clock from not <laughs> blinking 12 o'clock? Because that is a I have, long, a, question, I have a question on here about that. For years, it never blinking. records on time. <laughs> what the hell's going on? Well, the, so this is the problem: is that you know one of the things that one of the reasons people use computers for everything is because you have the same software that you're using over and over. Right. Again. You only have to learn it once. Every time you got a new watch or a new VCR, or a new microwave, right. or a new car, you have to learn it all over again. Mm -hmm. It's maddening. It's it's maddening for everyone. It's not just maddening. It's for maddening you. for the manufacturers. It, it is right. So, even the car manufacturers don't even know what to do sometimes. No. And, and by the way, that, that programming language is most likely based. That's yes. usually yeah, that's what it was. That's wow. it. I never, I never Nobody really that. uses BASIC in the industry, oh, but sure. lots of people start <laughs> off right. you know, in BASIC. And actually, there is a version of BASIC that's still used today on Windows that's pretty cool. Really? V, uh, uh, yeah, Visual BASIC. So, uh, or, um, uh, v, or now it's VBS and then it's VBS scripts. So. But yeah, so there is, it did eventually feed into hmm. something where well, I have another people are question using it in a for professional you, capacity. But I, wanna, you, I know you want get to get to the news and I'm going to ask you a question. Sure, sure. Yeah. We got a good one. Right? You guys thought you. These guys thought they were going to come on here for half an hour right. and just be bored out of <laughs> yeah. their minds. That's not I what told we said. you. I warned Matt's you. That's on the road tomorrow. Yeah, we've got dinner reservations. Yeah, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I know. I'm razzing you. If, if um, this face doesn't get eight hours, right? Yeah. You got to see on, what it looks like. It looks in the like yeah, really. I mean, it takes a, what an hour Masking to unglue the wig and put yeah, it on the God. model at home. A lot, a lot of. You glue. look sculpted. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. I try. I try. It's not easy at this age. No. 31 now. Like a jello sculpture. Yeah, yeah. yeah 31. <laughs> How long have you been 31 for? Like a mashed potato sculpture. Yeah, right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> Close or a chopped liver nine. sculpture <laughs> like at a bar mitzvah. <laughs> I like that mug too. We got to talk about that scary mug. <laughs> wow. What's this for me? I don't know. I know. I had but you're looking at it. We were having wow, it's very severe. Over and over. And I'm just like, that's it. I've got the mean mug. Yeah, and but you And it turns out the meaning solved itself, and I never got to bring it But the that's mug. your look. Like, if you had a gun, I mean, you and, and you know, people I know you're close to, yeah. your look is that very. 
heavy metal, yeah, se you know, severe, I, 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 severe. I, like this. I, I embrace. <laughs> like everyone sees. Like, I embrace my so hair, my so hair. Like that's the look, right? I embrace. Don't touch my coffee. <laughs> 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 like Matt using that mug right. would be completely out of place. You know, no, I'd, I'd be scared right. every time I take right. a drink. Right. I'd be like, oh my god! Did you see right. how he picked it up? He's like, right. Well, he has one like Exhibit that. A. <laughs> he has one like that, but it's Perry Como's face. Right. Right. I'd be scared every time I take it. Right. Every it's time the Andy Williams it. Christmas album face. <laughs> oh oh god, that's funny. This, this is great. Crazy news. Are really Thank funny, you. And man. you gave me this mug. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. And there's a history behind this. Yeah, yeah. So that mug, that that mug is actually from. The only working missile silo in the United States. Oh my God! Uh, <laughs> museum. And actually, the, there's no nuclear material there. Are you it, sure? Yeah, Why yeah. you give me the nuclear mug? It's no, all I in the mug. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they just melted out the missile and made yeah, it into yeah. mugs. This right. mug came drinking from Chernobyl. It. Yeah, and it was the last <laughs> mug <laughs> that <laughs> they used before the reactor blew, and I flew it in for you. <laughs> You're drinking isotope yeah. fuel. Uh, yeah, it's and coffee. It's coffee. Going. I don't know what's going right. on. All the way to the border of Arizona. Oh I guess God. they thought maybe they'd take out some Mexicans along right. the way. Right. Oh, my. They went, they went, they went wow. to nuke the silo. Yeah. It's nice, and, uh, right. Yeah, and they... they, they uh, so, actually, the, most people don't realize, and I didn't realize either until I went on that tour, the nuclear missiles that they used back then were the same rocket design that they used in the Apollo missions. Can I They're the it? same thing. Same. It looks exactly It's just same. you put people in it instead of right. you know a weapon. Wow. On the I didn't top. know that. And yeah. then they went and made coffee mugs out of right. the scraps yeah. from those old rockets. <laughs> And so, I got this well, that's that's My point drinking. is the yeah. astronauts right. have lived right. a long time, right. a few of it, them. It's really, bathed so. in rocket fuel. You yeah. might be okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it looks very clean. I mean, I don't, I'm twitching. Right. <laughs> yeah. It right. wasn't Blurry. seltzer when so you, you started. Shut, shut the lights on. Yeah, that's exactly. blowing in. Yeah. <laughs> That nose is. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All I could see was that nose. I see three heads when I look at Steve. This is this is why I love having Steve here. This yeah, is no, great. It's good to have Steve. There. Yeah, Steve, Steve is a, 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 a fountain of uh, resourcefulness. Well, wow, it's been That's very nice. nice. Yeah. <laughs> God. Have you ever been called a fountain before? Yeah. Of resources. You're just constantly yeah, flowing right. with resources. <laughs> I flow forth. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, no. All right, back to the news. All right, back to the news. I, I feel like so the one that Steve know, brought on, over, now, and right. this is, so there are 200,000 people apparently signed up. And, uh, oh, it's 342,000 people now signed up. In a, a pact. Now, some people say this is a joke. A pact? A pact to, at the same time, meet outside of Area 51 uh -oh. and storm it. <gasps> really? What? 342,000 people have signed up to this. Wow, it's like wow. a crazy music Are festival. you signed up for that? Uh, no. <laughs> what? They'll are shoot your ass. It's a military are any, base. Right. Are any bands playing? What, 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 what he didn't <laughs> What? An additional three hundred sixty-three thousand interested. Another oh, another. Ooh. So it's double if you if you get the if you get the fence sitters. And Steve, where is your fence. band playing? Yeah, where right. did you say? <laughs> Area Fifty-One. So they're just going to see Steve's band well, and they're live right. from Area Fifty-One. I've got nice. the vehicle for it. I yeah. love it. You have to keep moving or else they'll shoot you. It. Right. It's not mind-proof though. But it'll I don't know if they're all going to show up. It'll have a bump of bully on it. Show up. They totally. Let me tell you something. If three hundred thousand people show up, they're storming it. If, the, if I mean, these people don't know how to if storm. If 300,000 people signed up, that means that 30,000 might actually show up. That's yeah, but, enough they can't kill them all. But they don't know yeah, how no, to. No, 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 that's they, serious. They say, uh, they say if they Naruto run, then they will be able to run faster than the bullets. What? Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, See, maybe that. These people don't know. They don't know, know how to storm. where is Area 51 again? Apparently, they live in a cartoon world. They're in um, Nevada? Uh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Caesar's going yeah, like, to come on to that whole event. 350,000 yeah, exactly. people. Uh, I'll go. Yeah, right, we're going. Right. Anything <laughs> in Nevada, we're there. <laughs> if, we can, if we can stay at the Mirage, we're yeah. there. Yeah, right. I will storm the hell out of anything you yeah, want. Yeah, right, for a free yeah. room? <laughs> I'll storm <laughs> Wayne Newton's show. Like a, <laughs> you guys are standing in the lobby of, uh, of Caesar's Palace. Right. All right, we're ready. Yeah. Where is everybody? Yeah. Do they give you a free night stay if you sign on that website? <laughs> yeah, you sign up and you storm. <laughs> right. And then you go and you stay at uh, yeah. Bally's. Oh, right. 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 Wow. I like well, it. What do you think about, I mean, both of you, you know? Don't threaten me. Yeah, you too. <laughs> What, what, what are you <laughs> trying to get away from that tree? See, this, what you, is, this is what you guys are missing out when yeah, you're right. not doing video. What do you we think, might soon, actually. Yeah, we might go to video. Yes. We can get a wide do nose it, lens. It, it. What do you think about Area 51? Do we believe it? Is that all true? Is it I, blown out of proportion? I, is it, I mean, no. something's there, but what, what do we so think? So watch Joe Rogan 1315. That was the most convincing 
analysis I've seen of an Area 51 kind of story where some somebody was claiming to work on UFOs. But the, the problem is, there's no way to know. Right, right. There's no way to know. This guy, this is the most credible person Well, if we I've storm the seen. facility, we'll know. Well, everybody will know. 363,000 yeah. well, people will know. Yeah. Well, I think that's part of what's driving this. I mean, there was, there was I think, like six or seven million hits on that video. So, wow. you know. I got to watch. I didn't know. So they, you know what's going to happen? This guy's been around since the 80s. But the thing right. is, what happened was, he made, he said these things, like, oh, it, it did this, there was this in the ship, this and that and the other thing, and everything he, that he said in the past turned out to be true, either scientifically or about devices right, he was talking right. about. You heard, like he said, there's going to be some kind of thing you're going to talk into and you're going to be able to see people, and the phone happened. Who said this? Well, no, it wasn't. <laughs> That's the idea, but... <laughs> is, this, uh, is this Nostradamus? Who are we talking I don't, about? I don't remember the guy's William name. Shatter. J.R.E. 1360. Oh, William Shatter. Well, I believe it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, like, so, like, he, there was, like, something where, like, they, would, they used a bone scanner, he was claiming they used a bone scanner to do um, uh, biometrics. By the way, never do biometrics. Who? Who's who's doing, doing the claimings? He, the, the, this guy. Who said he was this guy? guy? This guy. This guy. Come I don't, on. I don't know the what names. guy? Give me names. names. His All name right, is Michael. Steve, <laughs> Steve, they're razzing me. Could you right. tell me who was on JRE 1315? Yeah. Who was on JRE 1315, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Need that info stat. I'm sorry. 17 and 18 Poor too, Steve. And if his name is actually Paul this guy? And Jeremy Corbell. Okay. Mm. Ooh, the Corbell brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Did they have a podcast? So, <laughs> so is that, yeah. So he was saying there was this, this this device, and everyone's like, "There's nothing like that exists." Wow. Well, it turns out 20 years later it exists. So there's probably something there. Yeah. There's probably right. Mean, yeah. But of course, he could just be lying. He it could just have right. a lot of a long right. series yeah. of credible lies. Right. It could be like know. Al Capone's safe, where right. everybody storms it, <laughs> and there's nothing there. <laughs> Right. right, there'll be all, like a live show. Yeah. David Copperfield will do an yeah. open, right? right? And then they'll show everybody storming Area right. 51 and be like an alien stuffed animal, you know? Well, I will tell you something that I, that I read, and I don't think we ever talked about this, Mike, and I don't, you know, obviously we never did. Mm -hmm. But Jackie Gleason, who we're big fans of, I'm a big fan of, Mike is, was very into UFOs and aliens, and he was very good friends with Richard Nixon. Right. And he says, Jackie Gleason, in off interviews, if you look it up when he was alive, that there is an Area 51, that he saw Area 51. 51, that he got a private tour by Richard Nixon, wow. and that, wow. you know, he really believed that. He, he that he was, like, really into that. Why yeah. would he say and so? And for people who don't know who that is, that's who Fred Flintstone was. Right, by right, yeah. <laughs> No, right. seriously, people yeah. might not know who he right. is. Right. But, but he really, I, I'm, that's serious. And Steve, check, if you can, Steve, <laughs> fact check that. But I believe Jackie Gleason was into that UFO stuff, and I believe he said Richard Nixon showed him the whole shebang. I'd love to hear that Thank this you, is Steve. false, by the way. So I'd love to hear. Look at you invoking Steve. I like. I know. I don't know if I can do this. And I'll take a light and no more. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Steve. <laughs> Poor Steve. But right I now he's like, if that's he's true. like just under his breath. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Son of Matt wants to bring Steve to work. Crazy people on the show. Son of a bitches. Telling you need to hire Steve yeah. to just walk around with you stuff. and fact yeah. test stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like Kramer on awesome. I told you we need an intern. We Kramer had an intern. Listen, if we, had a, if we had a fact checker, we'd have no show. <laughs> you need yeah. an intern. We need facts <laughs> to have a fact checker. They 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 have a so it doesn't mean it was disproven, but it's not approved. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. so look at it that. It isn't disproven. And a lot of them will get disproven. A lot of them are, are, you can prove they're not true. Like if someone says we weren't on the moon, you could prove that that wasn't true. But you do it's not easy, but right. it's doable. Was a, uh, he was a UFO fanatic. Right. There you go. There you go. So you're half right. Right. See yeah. that story of my life. He never met Nixon, Half though. everything. I met Nixon. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that was a you think you story. are Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we think Matt might be a time traveler. All these years we've been trying to figure out, right? He's a man out of time. We've known I'm Matt. a man out of time. This is him since he's 15. This yeah, is, I this am a is man out of time. legit. But now, actually on the podcast with when Look our buddy Greg stuff. was on, we figured out that he yeah. is indeed a time traveler. I am. He's yeah. always talking about the flux capacitor, the DeLorean. I have He's the always DeLorean. quoting things from 50, 60 I years ago. The flux right. capacitor. I, have. I think he's just a time traveler. I live with a traveler. guy that looks like Doc. You do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 You know what? Captain America. You should have been Captain America. Oh, okay. So, you know, I, the first Captain, Captain America, America would movie. Captain America would talk like you, man. I, I, totally see, I saw my first Captain America movie the other night. My yeah. son showed it to me. He's going to be 13. He never watched the Marvel movies. Now he's into them, like the last year. Mm -hmm. I've never seen the Captain America one. It was great. And you know who the villain was? It was an older one. Robert Redford. Do you remember yeah, that yeah. one? He was good, Robert Redford. Right. Yeah. Of course he's he was. Right? Good. I mean, how yeah. did he do that movie? He never does a movie. They got he was in one of the greatest computer movies of all time. Which one was that? Sneakers. 
Oh, sneakers. Right, right, right. I remember that. That, that is considered yes. to be... He was also an indecent proposal. It, it, it's considered <laughs> to be like, you know, like so, lots of movies are really bad with their tech. Right. Sneakers is spot on. Well, he's pretty good. I was just surprised to <clears> see it, like him in that movie. It really, you know, it was a great movie. Mm -hmm. So they're good. Those Marvel movies are good. Yeah. I miss Stan Lee knowing that, that now he's not doing cameos, right? I know. Well, that's the character. first movie that he doesn't you, have a cameo. At least, at least right. you'd have a chuckle. Well, the Spider-Man no how one. bad it right. was, you'd have a chuckle yeah, when Stan I Lee I would show up. I not seeing because I knew he did that. So yeah. I missed in the new Spider-Man not seeing him. Even yeah. though I'm not a giant Marvel or comic guy or superhero guy, but the movies are good. I, I will admit yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty. They're, 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 they're a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah. A lot well, of it's fun. been a long time coming. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 people were demanding these movies in the 70s and 80s, like the comic book fans. I mean, there weren't like hundreds of millions of them, but there were tens of millions Who of them. Who knew there were so many superheroes? There's you know. quite a few. Yeah, I mean, just, a lot of people knew that. A lot of I people were really, you know, you know they just wouldn't <laughs> Mike, you never told me that. The most, I mean, think about how crazy this is. Michael Keaton as Batman is the most serious that they ever took right. uh, a, a, a superhero movie to that point. Right. That was the most serious. Yeah, that was a groundbreaking And half of it was completely bonkers that. goofy. Yeah. Like right. cartoon. What about of, Jack Nicholson as the Joker? That was, yeah. We actually like that movie. Yeah, that's one of our Yeah, I like, I like that yeah. too. Yeah. So. That's my favorite. I, I don't know how to classify it because like half the time it's an adult movie and half the time I feel like... It, know, was, the, a, it was a dark movie though and it was groundbreaking. Right. right? I remember seeing it like Well, it introduced different. like the new superhero right. movies. Right. This was different than anything we And then it took before. them quite a while to get it right. And, and yeah. then they didn't get it right again for another five, six, seven years. And then Rosemary Clooney was Batman. Well, and everything was fine when she was back girl, Good. back grandma. <laughs> Yeah. Bat nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Bat nipples. Well, it's true. Imagine that sign, yeah. right? That, that, that light. <laughs> That's you know? a different type of movie. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember this when Bat uh, George Clooney did it, and he said it was the worst movie he ever made, right? He, he hated it. Remember yeah. he did Batman? Yeah. It was right. so bad. He, he was just, right. He hated doing it. With he Chris O'Donnell. Right. And problem. now who's Batman now? I saw what's his name? Uh -oh. Ben Affleck. Yeah, Affleck. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, he quit? Who's the new Batman? There's another new Batman? He's pissed about the scripts were terrible in the new one. Adam West? I'm sorry. Who's the new one? A lot of people from, are mad about that, but no, I, I don't. I didn't know he quit. Who's the new Batman? Uh, it's what they don't have some, one yet. Uh, well, no, they got the guy from what some Robert show. Uh, that guy. Who? Yeah. Robert Pattinson. Jeez, you didn't even have to look that one. Who's up. that? Robert what show? We were anticipating that question. He started Twilight. looking at Batman's while we're yeah. talking about him. He played Edward from Twilight. They had like more masked roles since. He's Batman. Right. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. don't see him as Batman. <laughs> <laughs> he had more gritty roles since, so people thought he'd be a good. Wow. I don't see him. I don't say. You know. Go ahead. Steve, you should be Batman. Enough of this. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. He's got the voice. Oh, like, and, have you and seen Bat Dad? <laughs> that viral guy? Oh, yeah, Dude, that guy's great, man. Bat Dad, have you seen no, him? No, I haven't seen Bat Dad. He's this guy with his kids, and he just posts YouTube videos with his kids, but he's got the cowl, yeah. and he takes selfies where you just see his eye in the cowl, I and he just it. says crazy stuff to I his kids. It. Really? It's awesome. Yeah, he'd be like, Grace, why are you eating cereal? <laughs> you know? Don't, don't stand with the refrigerator <laughs> well, door open. Me that before. Yeah, it's funny. I like Baby Shark, too. <laughs> Funny. Another big hit. But let me ask you a question. Yes. I don't like, and Mike and I have talked about this before, and since we're talking about Batman, I don't like how Batman changed his voice like that. I don't know about Batman like that. I don't like it. <laughs> it to me, it's off-putting. That doesn't really sound I like know, it. I'm though. Batman. I don't know. <laughs> everyone knows he's Batman. See, that's what I like about the new Spider-Man, because they're a new Spider-Man. Everyone knows he's Spider-Man. The gig is up. Right, right. You know, that little, it, it, you know you're Spider-Man. You disappear. You show up. They know. The right, right. girlfriend it's a, knows. It's the worst Everyone can figure it out. So it's like kind of cool. Right, but right. with Batman, I mean, we know it's Batman. It's even which, less which, of a costume. Which in life imitating art uh, is also apparently reflected in Tom Holland's ability to keep a secret about what the next plot's going to be. Right, well, they do that on purpose. <laughs> they do that I don't know. I mean, they sometimes do. I wonder, you know? They really do. I'm going to grab another water. Oh, yeah. That ain't what you're grabbing. Hey, hey. Thank See, you See, you, right. you heard the beer crack. It's real. Right, right, that's it is real. real. Yes. Yeah, put that and in And this that. is actually not water, it's straight vodka. Yeah. If you got one for me, I'll actually take Radioactive it. Radioactive oh, slime. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right. I have no idea what I'm you getting into, you know, my you're friend. The it's yellow. You're the aristocrat. So is this, does this have anything to do with missiles or nuclear material mm -hmm. or anything? <laughs> Not as much as that mug. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know. I like it. There we go. All right. So I got I'm more news. Guys more with, news. No, we're done with the news. That's it for the news. I think. I think. I don't know. All right. Oh, Any who cares? News? Trump really. Trump lifted the blacklist for Huawei. Wawa. Oh, I like Wawa. I like it better than 7 Eleven. Wawa. Oh, yeah. I like Wawa a lot. I love their diet iced tea. It's the best. Wawa is a chip. Wait, what did Trip do to Wawa? What? What did he do to Wawa? Can you say it again? Look, guys, this is Huawei. This is the chip company that makes this. 
Take oh. the chip, chips for this. Oh. I yeah. thought it was Wawa Wall and Store. <laughs> Me I too. really yeah. did. I'm like, so oh, much better. Their hoagies yeah. are great. Yeah, yeah. Really oh. yeah. So I was like, what did he do? He shut down Wawa's? There was a <laughs> Come on, man. And we have no peace in this no. Oh, Jeez, that's the worst news I've heard today. <laughs> I'm going to Maryland next week. I planned on a Wawa or two. And Dunkin' Donuts are shut down. Jeez. Yeah. All right. All right. Sorry about that. No, it's good. I like it. All right, so what did he do to Wawa's? Um, yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> well, the Chinese weren't allowed to eat Wendy's. Uh, and then now they are again. So, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Well, they got to have their Wendy's. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> I like Wendy's. <laughs> Wendy's the best. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Not better than McDonald's. So I got a question for you guys. Yeah. Who, whose name goes first? Is it Matt or it's is it Mike? Mike. Mike. Okay, mm -hmm. so you guys decided that. It's definitely Mike. It's yeah, I, Mike. I decided that. Okay, yeah. cool. He's the main guy. <laughs> he's the main guy. He's no, he's not the main guy. No, 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 no. You know why? Because he's a technical guy. Well, That's top why he has villain. to go yes. first. Yes. Because I'm the one typing stuff. it. Right. If he were typing it, <laughs> that's it. That's, it would say that's that. All like, there is you know? to being a technocrat, right? right. You're the one typing like it. it. You win. Yeah, I like. I, I think it flows better, Mike and Matt, too. I honestly do. Well, like I said, too, we only added that tag on at the end because there is another podcast with the name Everyday Nonsense. Oh, yeah, what's that story? What happened there? Well, nothing really. I mean, you know, like we were researching that there was wasn't another one and then two weeks before we dropped our first one it popped up right you know and we had already you know we have a good the this guy that I want to tell you it's not just you guys this kind of crap happens all the time you yeah know, well like, the first thing if, if I've ever had I have bought like a two dozen domain names that I later discarded because as soon as I have an idea the first thing I do is buy the domain name yes right. he's one of those well I have the domain name but we're actually the website itself is still under right, construction, right. construction that was the first thing I did because I think right. that's the most important yes you yes. know because well, you know. it's like um, oh yeah you're more technical than you let on you know with like, oh no oh, I'm just an everyday something. guy I don't he know no I'm just doing some research you don't buy the domain right, name right yeah no I just do some research you know I'm out of you yeah it makes me laugh but we had already the guy there's a good friend of ours that actually wrote recorded the music oh yeah the, we have the theme song that we use. Dave Abenanti. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, he's great. He's a composer. He's a lyricist. He works for a licensing company on Broadway. He's on Broadway. Um, oh. you know, Not Broadway in the city, 106, 107. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right. The, he writes music right, right, for right, the right. I crashed into Adelia yeah, on that right. road. Yeah, yeah. he writes music for the falafel stand. <laughs> <laughs> but still, love you, Dave. <laughs> He's um, a Sikh. He works for the Sikh temple. He's very good. I mean, really, right. excellent. Right. You should hear him play a snake. <laughs> well, he, it's can unbelievable. he can charm a snake out of a basket. He like could. Nobody's business. The guy right, is good. Right. He's right. good. But he's doing some more things for us. He's yeah, doing some drops yeah. for us. He's a doing a set of skills. No, right. he's really right. good. So it's We're great. Lucky. So he had already written the song. We had already recorded the song or whatever. And I'm not saying these guys did anything wrong. You know, it's it's not like a, a really obscure name. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we decided after talking to a few people that we would just go ahead with it and just kind of see what happens, you know, right. and, and we have a couple of, if something should happen where, you know, there is some kind of competition or some confusion or so, anything. So, so the way the trademark rules work is you have to register trademarks? Right. No. So if not, he didn't register it, the, well, the, the, he can't stop you. We didn't either, but, um, you know. Yeah, but I mean, then now, now there's prior art, now that you guys are there, and you can just be like, we were here first. Well, right. You know? the, the actual law, I believe, from my research, says that the, the trademark in this kind of a situation would go to the first person. This comes person. up a lot in computers, that's why. Right. Oh, really? wow. yeah. right. Yeah. It would go, but podcasting is, is still very uh, gray as far right. as the law and intellectual property goes, right? Right, right. So what I've read, and this could be wrong and it could be right, is that the first person that has it, should there be a battle, is the person that has the trademark rights to it. Wow. Right. However, you also can't trademark legitimately a title to something like a podcast. Right. It's like, you know, Dave told me this. He's right. like, I could write a song called Stairway to Heaven if right. I wanted to and name it Stairway to Heaven. Right. Why don't we do that? It would be dumb. To, right. Or really smart. Or right. really smart. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> what but the you, hell is this? Right. But the, the property itself, <laughs> what you're talking about, can't be identical. Right. So he can't write the same song. You know, the, but, he right. can but he can name it, it the same. Right. 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 So. Well, we have a team of a team. No, I think you're probably right about it. I wouldn't worry about it. No, we're not worried about it. We'll try to write it out and see. You know, like hopefully people like it's really It's really know? interesting. I think, well, so it's interesting. There's a name collision. My Linux users group, it, it, people just don't do research. That's part of the problem also. It's like, so we had, Lilug has been Lilug since the 90s. We're a federal and state nonprofit. If we ever had, someone started a group called Lilug on Long Island. Really? They didn't even look it up. They didn't wow. even Google us. Yeah, they don't even. Right. They didn't even try. Right. They you know? didn't even. Right. right. Yeah. I'm like, come on. And guys, it's easy really? to find now. It's so easy to find something, right? You just yeah. Type anything in. Well, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can find out any name or anything. And you, you know want, what? Actually, you know? the cool thing is, like, a lot of people get mad about that, but the, one of the cool things about coming from the open source world is, it's just kind of like, all right, good. I'm right. glad for them. You know, it's fine. Open. You know, I, I don't love that they have exactly the same name. As right. Us right. At sure. a glance. <laughs> but you know, whatever. I don't care if there's another Lilac. Right. You know, and because, and sure enough, I think actually they just. 
just they just announced that they're doing less meetings, so they're kind of fading away. Really? Yeah. So probably the same thing will happen. The other guys. Yeah, you never know. I mean, you guys are cranking podcasts out, and they're really funny. Yeah. So. We, we, well, thank we, you, man. We yeah. release. I mean, you ahead of me. Ten a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do two every day, every both day. before lunch. Right. What do you sleep in the basement? <laughs> <laughs> Just wake up. Okay, I'm ready. We've got a I'm lot recharged. of material. Let's put it down. What we did was we recorded, I think, five, maybe even six before we dropped one. Well, your, right. your, your entire base of material is people acting ridiculous, which is basically the entire planet. So you right. should be at this right. while. Right, right, yeah. right. Well, well, that's endless. the And you have a time machine, so you have all the time in the right, world. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's endless information. It really is endless yeah, really information. Is. You know, we, we just, we really try to, if you haven't listened to the show and you want to check us out, like what we really do try to talk about is we call it meaningless prattle. That really doesn't matter, you know, and, and in this, our news cycle that we're sitting in right now, right? I think oh my gosh, that something yeah. like that might be a little bit welcome. And uh, you know what? There's a million podcasts out there, but probably very similar. But you know, right. hopefully, we can back on the chemistry right. and people will like it. And you know, right? And you know, it's weird because I'm actually I'm, I face the same problem too, right? Sometimes we run into politics. We have to right. just because you're talking about computers. Inevitably, it ends up talking about ethics. Right, and inevitably ethics ends up talking about politics. I mean, right. just it's just the way it goes. Yeah, natural look at progression. Tonight we right. talked about Nixon and, already. And really, there's two ways you can go, which is either you can be super serious and actually have a, a, a studied, uh, detailed, fact-based conversation on what's going on, or you could just completely goof off. Right. right. And actually, it's a relief to hear the goof off sometimes. Oh, yeah. Well, right. You it's know, true, I'm, just wait, I'm too serious for myself. Everything I can't is very me. serious. Right. Yeah. I always believe. But that. you can't. You can't do middle of the road anymore. You no, have you to can't. go one way or the other. Right. Right. Yeah, that's true. But I think the thing that we try to, to hit home to anybody that's listening to us is if we'll do a bit a nonsensical, you know, we call them nonsensicals, and that's probably the, the part of our, our show that people react to the best. That's our and Cadillac, Matt. Right. So uh, big. That's our showstopper. Right, and these are the little With things that happen leather. to you. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. These are the <laughs> little things that happen to you every day, but it's all done up. after we talk about it, we want it to be now, when it happens to you, you think of the podcast. Right, right. You know, like the waving when somebody waves you on, right? Oh, that was our that first was episode. One. That was you know, when people wave you on, do you, you know, do you go, do you stop, do you this, do you that? Right, like I told a story, right, because it bothers me, where I pulled up to an intersection on a side street, Right, the guy had already been there, right, and he was not on his phone, not doing anything. He was just driving, right. He had already been there, so I waved him through. He waves me through. I said, No, no, no. Yeah. Right, I was I'm here first. Like, right, I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm like, go, why right? do you need to be the nicer person? Right, because that's what you're trying to do. This right, so does. I wave him through again. And what he's does peacocking. he? What does he do doing. next? Peacocking. Right, and then he right. He's, what does he do next? He waves you on. He flicks his brights. Oh, he flicks his. Brights. So I flick my brights. Now what happens? Now it's a inevitably. Fight. Now it's a well, no. Fight. Now I go. What does he do? He grabs his bat. He goes. <laughs> and now you're in a break bot battle, yeah. right? If you just went when I pa <laughs> waved you on the car. first yeah. time, why we're you got to be the nicer it. person? Just go. Yeah. But now, he, fast forward, he, he, you're at an intersection, Matt. Yeah. Somebody waves you through. Or, no, I'm sorry, you wave someone through and, you, and they were there first. Right. And they don't go. What uh, are you going to think of? Uh, I'm going to think of you. These faces. <laughs> <laughs> and then there'll be a horrific crash. This push. Right. <laughs> see, see for, for me, it's a little different. I just immediately escalate full. I immediately... Put it in park, shut the car off, open the door, stand there, and go oh, like this. Wow. Uh, yeah, you go ahead. Wow. Yeah, let me. Tell Obviously, you I can't go because I'm not even you in the car. You're very similar to Christine. Wow. My wife Christine is like that. She really doesn't take much on the road. Right. I mean, she's really, really, you know, I would never do that. Even if I was totally in the well, road, I, I I'd be a nervous wreck. Dude, do I that. did that. I did that the other day, and never. actually, I wasn't trying to start a fight. I was just trying to. This guy's beeping like crazy behind me, <laughs> you know, right. Right. and like and like, uh, and he wants to get into a parking lot, and I'm dropping my kids off in that parking lot. I can't get in the parking lot right. because it's queen. And you have kids in It's the bonkers. It's a circus in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So I'm dropping them off in the safest place I can so they can get to the sidewalk so they're not dead. Right, right. right? And that happens. And then this which is nice like, of you. Which is, well, he's their father. Come yeah, on. yeah, you know. Well, yeah. yeah. They might, they might, they'll find me if yeah. I leave them dead. So, uh, <laughs> Right. So I get out of the they car, have and I, you know, I'm just, I just, I'm not trying to start a fight with a guy. I just stand there to say, if you're gonna run my kids over, you gotta run me over first. Oh, what do you, you know? do? I didn't say anything. I just stood there. Wow. And he starts to fight with me. <gasps> He's trying to start a fight with me. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're a big dude. I don't know if. You and know. I'm just looking at him like, yeah. really? Right? Was it the Bagel Boss guy? Yeah. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> I didn't even say anything. I just looked at him like. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and the kids, once the kids are safe, he's still talking. I'm like, whatever. You get in the back of the car and drive away. Because what? who cares, right? Yeah, I mean, the ridiculousness you know. of people. Yeah, it's true. And that's, that's the it's nonsensicals that we talk about. It's fuel right? for our it's show. So, so, so I would say I'm not, I would not recommend getting out of your car because if you can't laugh at no, someone who's no, insulting you. I would not get out of the car. No. Yeah, because but they will try to start guy. a fight with you. How, you, you he's trying to try to fight with yeah, me. But, but I'm like, you, you, I'm you like get fucking Sasquatch, dude. You get out of your car. 
call you're making a statement. Right. You know, you're six what? Seven, uh, eight? I make my, the statement is you've got to run me over first before you can run my right. kids over. That's yeah, but you're I'm a saying. giant guy. I get out of my car, you get out of your car. It's a little different. Right, right, right. <laughs> We like want to run to get back in the car. Right. You know, yeah, I wouldn't be getting. I won't even roll down <laughs> no, my window a little bit. Yeah. Let the air out. Like, can I help you? I'm like, I got the air. I got, I got to tell you that bit. The, the guy. I, I, I don't want to call. I don't want to ruin and spoil your show. No, no please no, talk no, about no. The, show, the show it. with the guy with the bike lock talking about oh, oh, the, oh, the bicycle Sal. gang. Yeah. Right, right. Not biker, bicycle. No, gang. bicyclists. Right. I, I, bicyclists. And all I could think is, what happens when he does that to bikers? Right, on right. Motorcycles. They kill him. That's what. They got well, chains and, and these guys are inventing yeah, weapons. Well, right, right, but, but I mean, you, you remember, know, motorcyclists right? inherently have weapons, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right. They, just because you can see equipment for your bike. Yeah, they, they have chains. And I was blown away by that conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah and if you would have met him, that was him, phenomenal. You would have been that episode shocked. Up. Yeah, yeah episode he's so three. Not like that, right? No, I mean, no, no. Met no, him in no. person, but he was very, and he says people escalate. He changes. He changes when he's on his bike. Right. It was great. Believe it or not, this this is something. This even happens in like the most demure scientists in the in the in the computer world. World. This is just how people are. Yeah. I mean, like, like the absent-minded professor, by the way, is not a stereotype. It's true. There are definitely some uh, scientists out there who are just wandering around with their lab coats on, completely befuddled. But I mean, you know, people will escalate. It doesn't matter what role you are in life. It doesn't matter how many PhDs yeah, that, you have. That, that's right. You right. know, they that's just, you know, and the adrenaline starts going, and they just stop thinking. You know, so yeah, don't don't feel so bad. So what happened? What, what happened? He got with? back in his car. You oh, the guy. Oh, yeah. He just got. I, I just ignored him. He right. was just yelling okay. at me, and I, I, you know, he didn't follow me or anything. All right. I was ready for him to follow. Right. Me. You know. My God. Yeah. Well, well, because I mean, you know, like. Yeah, uh, Matt's ready to go. Then he's like, at that point, I'm ready to go. You're ready to follow. Especially when the right. kids are involved. I was ready. That takes you to another well, the level. The kids are out. They're safe. Right. right. I know, but they were involved. Good luck going up there and getting them. <laughs> right. That'd be like out of a karate yeah. movie. Right. The whole time, the whole school attacks him. Yeah. Right. So like the kids are safe, and I just I pull in a parking lot, and he just goes his own way because he's like he. He was expecting me to give him the finger and call right. him names, right. and I was like, no, no not going to happen. Not going to happen. I don't care about you. That was nice. So you were the bigger man. No, I just didn't care about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't the bigger man. I, I guess I was the bigger man, wasn't I, right? I was Did the guy look the like man. this, and was he in a silver Chevy? No. <laughs> don't give up my spot. I was, I'm only in Queens once a week. Come on. <laughs> Wow, we've got nothing done. Yeah, we I got love nothing it. Done. I know. Beautiful. I'm sorry about. No, it. it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so I got, I got a question for you guys. Yeah. Do you guys still have landline phones? And when they ring, do you answer them? Mike, uh, you want to go? <laughs> I do have a landline phone. Yes. And most of the time, I do not. Um, and it's, you see, first of all, you see the number on the television now, right? So you right. Yes. See what it's, but here's what the sneakiest thing they've did. They they've done this for a while, but now what they'll do is they'll take a, a number that is similar to one in my town, mm -hmm. right? Like that you might a, you know five one six blank blank but whatever. But the first three letters, three three letters, three numbers will be the same. Right. Right. So right. that you always should I shouldn't I. You know what I mean? But right, right. I would say very rarely do I. And if I do, it's only to mess with the people on the other end. Right. That's because I know that it's a telemarketer or Big Brothers of Long Island. Mm -hmm. It's one of those two pieces. So a telemarketer, some bogus police commissioner looking for money. Right. Right. Oh, right. Oh, right. oh everyone's a telemarketer. Always, everyone's always yeah. telemarketer. I don't know oh, why did we you have see a that landline. new story they found the Nigerian stash. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was one it's prince out there trying to warn everybody. Right. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Right, right. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I do. Look for that picture. It's funny. <laughs> I do have a landline. And I always say, you know what? If we ever, if we ever lose power, we'll have a landline. Right. I'm like, well, idiot. What do you work. think it works on? Yeah. Once the charge is gone, just like your cell phone, it's not going to work either. <laughs> I, I, we have a landline, but I never, ever answer it. I mean, we keep the machine on or the voicemail, but it's right. ridiculous. Everything we delete. It's written. No, Matt still know, has an yeah. old school telephone. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. It's funny. We call Matt. Hey, hello. What are you doing over there? See? Cincinnati, yeah, I'm six. Up like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll take Bex and Hurst three nine right. two nine two. Right, we live like twelve miles apart, and we have tin cans connected by string. We actually we wanted to get rid of the landline, right? But we couldn't. They charge you more to get rid of it. Do you know that? No, I didn't know. Yeah, they they charge you a surcharge to get rid of the landline. Right. It costs you more to not have it. Right. Yeah, and actually, I, that created a, 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 a billing problem for me at one of my jobs where they wouldn't give me my full internet reimbursement. They had did internet because we work in IT. You right. need to be able to log in to work. So, um, yeah, they, they, because Verizon had tied my phone number to my, my to my because they, that's just how they track it. Yeah, it's like they use it like a social everything. security number. Right. It is like keep, a social security number. They, they, like, and like, this is completely useless. Why do I have a phone? Their phone 
heads. They're addicted to phones. <laughs> anyway. Uh, do you right. have a landline? I do have a landline. No, I don't answer. You don't answer. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But you have it just it's, have It was it. free. I mean, you know, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll get and sign up and have it for free. And then, like, no one not only do I have a landline, it's, but it's I have. It's worse than useless. It's, it, it, right. it's right. annoying. Not only that, but I have four spread throughout the house. Because you, when we still had landlines yeah, all the time, I have four. I still have the same phones, right? And there's one in my room. There's one in the basement. There's one in the. Yeah, I just. so stupid. I had it just so I could teach my kids 911. Just because. Yeah, I know. My kids use it. Like before right. they had, like if we leave for a second, my daughter's home. She's ten. If we go down this, you know, she'll hold that cordless phone. Right. You know, same thing. Same thing. But we talked about right about cell phones. But even now, when your cell phone rings, that someone's calling you, mm -hmm. and it's not a telemarketer or not Matt's wife, right. you get extremely, <laughs> up, extremely worried. <laughs> like I know when Matt's wow. wife. Calls. I know when Matt's wife calls me, everything's fine. But right. if it's anyone else, right, your first thought is, oh no, something's wrong. Yeah. Oh my God. Right. 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 So we were talking about like we had hashtag bring back the phone call was something we were promoting right. no on one, one of our episodes. Anymore. Because, you know, we're like, ah, pick up the phone instead of complaining about so it. Do you, pick up the do you phone. guys text or call first? We, t we, we, we t do both, but we talk. I, right. We have to talk. I, usually, I have to talk to We him. do talk a lot, do, yeah. I, I mean, texting is okay, I but usually, I need to talk to him. I usually have know? to text people now before I call them. Like, is it okay to call you? Oh, like, yeah, I have, but we I did that. Right, right, right. ask permission to call. Right. <laughs> right, right. It's true. Can I, are you free to talk? Right. You know? But let me tell you, all the people <clears> that called my landline are all passed away. All my aunts or whatever. still calling. Yeah. They're not call, you know, <laughs> my Wait, aunt calls who's calling? Yeah. They're all gone. They're all gone. Right. So no one calls me more except, you know, the IRS or whatever that is. Yeah, so it's they even still bring us phone books. getting calls from beyond right. at this point. Right, like yeah. the Twilight Zone. That was a weird one. Yeah. Aunt Lorraine? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, you've been dead for 20 years. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so iPhone or Android, what do you guys think? I'm an Android guy. Android? So am I. Yeah. Android. Yeah, I'm yes. surprised you're an Android guy. Always been I'm an Android, an Android guy. I don't like the iPhones, man. I don't, I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's because I've always had an Android. iPhone or Android? Uh, Android, of course. Really? Well, Androids are Linux. Yeah, because you hate what uh, Apple, Androids. Right? Are, <laughs> Linux is nice stuff. You, you guys realize I, you're Linux users, right? What's that mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I know. Yeah, Android yeah. is well, right now. <laughs> you got that right. We <laughs> are. We sure are Linux users. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do anything. Of course. Linux is an, is an open um, source operating system that everyone was mocking in the '90s. Oh, I thought it was a denture cream. And uh, <laughs> yeah, written by Linus Torvalds, who also, by the way, wrote Git, which is the code management software that everyone in the industry uses. This guy's like 10 Nobel Prize right, laureates like a built into one. Genius. And, and it's, all, it's all stuff that he does for the public. Still it's not alive. Like yeah, he's, still, he's still young. What? He's my age. He's a few wow. years older. Yeah, that's another thing about these tech people. Yeah. They're very young. They have to be. They have to be. Yeah, yeah, well, have. You know, a lot of, there's a lot of ageism in, in IT. Well, not Bill Gates. He's so. not young. And it's starting to change. Ageism is starting to get better, but yeah, especially when I was started in this field, right. there was a ton of ageism. You know, if you were over 35, get out. Yeah. I know. think to some extent in tech, I, we, we, my company serves a lot of tech companies. I still see that a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do. I see that. Because age, the hours, yeah. right, that you generally have to put in are, are well, tremendous. No, and the, the tech is still changing. So if like, you what? really know what you're doing, no. Oh, really? Yeah. If you really? know what you're doing, yeah, you can leverage it. They just don't want to pay. Right. They don't want to pay. They don't want to pay. Yeah. They want to abuse someone and keep them at the edge of their sanity. Are you a Bill Gates fan? Uh, well, I, I, um, I, so it's interesting. So Bill Gates had a philosophy. This is there's actually a philosophy behind Microsoft that's contrary to Linux. So Linux is open source, right? And Linux is under a license called the GPL, and the GPL was a, is a is a is a license, a contract written by a guy from MIT called Richard Stallman. And right around the same time, Bill Gates is putting in one magazine. He says, "There's no reason that a programmer shouldn't get paid." Right. And at the same time, uh, you have uh, Richard Stallman putting in a different publication. Why does our code have to suck so bad just so someone can get paid? Right. So you have these two kind of contrary, and, and of course Richard Stallman went nowhere where Microsoft was growing into this monster during the 80s. Right. But then in 91, Linus picked it up for the Linux operating system, huh. and that started going crazy. And right around the mid 90s, it started flipping. Interesting. You know, and Linux became Linux is everywhere. Everything runs Linux. You have Linux in your in your in your, I never in your DVR. You, know you have Linux, you have Linux in your car. Who doesn't know they have you Linux, have Linux in your your TV. There's Linux, you have Linux on your phone. Wow. Plenty of Linux in your mug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. A lot of Linux in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Unfiltered Linux. Unfiltered penguin tears. I did not realize that. But I, I, I are you an Apple fan? Uh, I, I so I actually was a very rare sysadmin of Apple servers. 
for okay. a period of time. And Apple's very good. Because I, like I know Apple, a lot of tech guys. But I am a, I'm mainly a Linux fan. Yeah, that, that, that do not like is. Apple. It's actually like they don't like the whole idea of Apple. Well, it, it's, Am it's, I, I, I've the company is so... Mike hates Apple. Have you ever I been like, to an like Apple Red store Delicious. and tried to fix something? I like Red Delicious. Uh, they call themselves right, right, geniuses. Right, right, yeah. they literally, their job title is genius in the Apple store. Really? The, guy, the, the, tech, the fix it tech guys. Well, they're pretty. Really? How much more arrogant can you be? Fiji. Right, right. I like, That's what I think, yeah. yeah Fiji you know. apples. Fiji. I like those. <laughs> I mean, I just like, it, I like it, when you go to get your Apple fix, you go to the genius bar. I go to the grocery store. Oh, I didn't know you, that. I, I never had it. I go to the grocery store. <laughs> That's what yeah, I but got. Look, me too. Oh, yeah. but look at a company like Apple <laughs> right. that everyone thought, and we're, we're in that age bracket that we remember. I don't know if Steve remembers because you're a little younger, but we're a lot younger, mm -hmm. 22 years younger. However, um, oh, are you wearing yeah, a right. love boat shirt? I'm wearing a love boat shirt. That's fucking yeah, that's 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 I did not see that before. Boat. He's wearing a love boat shirt. The doctor like, is like, in. Go-to <laughs> shirt. Um, but we remember when Apple was doing horribly. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of a joke. I remember right? pineapples. I remember that. I don't I never liked pineapple. <laughs> I love pineapple. Don't, don't get me started on pineapple. Apple was but terrible. The, compu the company, right, we thought it was a joke. We thought it was out of business. Yeah, yeah. Right? It almost was. Yeah. Remember those neon that. computers? Yeah. Right there? yeah. Well, it was just not. That the first Mac was. Well, well, they bailed on jobs. They fired jobs. Right, and, and right. They were just, and they had a. a Kind of like a soulless CEO corporate structure for a while, and they just they were mostly interested in just keeping the contracts they had with schools open. So it was like the education computer, but nobody used it, nobody used it for anything else. Right. And eventually they realized, all right, we're not growing fast enough to keep up with Microsoft. Yeah, they, and were, IBM. We, we, they were kind of like you were afterthought Apple. Apple. Yeah, and then, then and then they brought Jobs back, and then and then the iPad. A lot of those good the, ideas uh, were the, his. Uh, what was it? The, the what's the music thing? I don't know. But why don't you ever have a, a mixed drink using apple juice? I don't know. Can you have? Is that a hot toddy? Is apple juice? Is it? Is it because fermented apples taste weird? Is it no, bad? like apple juice. Why don't you mix anything with? I'm apples? not a big fan. Like of apple you know, juice. a screwdriver you have with orange mm. juice. You know, well, pineapple, you, you, cranberry. These are good mixers, but why not? You know, like juice? like what? What if? You That's like, a good question. What? What if? I think when you like have like a tequila sunrise or something, or like you know, like mm -hmm. let's, let's say you have a, a screwdriver, tequila right? Sunrise. Right. Let's make it simple. You right. a screwdriver, right? It's it's the fantasy of what if oranges could ferment into alcohol for me, right. just for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? I no, for me, fantasy. it doesn't freaking taste but, good. Uh, for some reason, apples, I don't well, have that fantasy. Why not? I don't what care. about apple cider? I don't know. What about You're some right. rum? You're totally right. What yeah, about apple some cider? Apple right? cider. You got any rum and apple juice around here? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next, if we come back, yeah, we're going to yeah, have, have some rum and some apple juice. We'll make apple, apple juice as a mixer. All right. And try different, we'll try all five this of the major liquors. It's going to be interesting. With apple juice. Projectile vomiting on the Technocrat Live. Whoa, that's great. I have some bad memories about gold Goldschlager. Gold oh with God. that. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a different show altogether. Yeah. <laughs> that's a ball game of a different color, see? <laughs> So apples, it. good mixer, not a great computer. Not a great, well, but now a great computer. Now a great computer. Imagine if we had Apple stock. Well, yeah. You probably did. But when I, we I had didn't. Apple stock, you my, didn't. My, I didn't. My dream trade, like forget about tech for a second. <laughs> right. My dream tra trade finance-wise is to just buy and hold Microsoft from like 81 on or 82 yeah. on or whatever they went public. I'll well, go back with Matt when he goes home yeah. tonight because Matt's going back <laughs> to 1972. <laughs> I have a get rich quick scheme for you. Yeah. He's going to get that sports almanac. <laughs> you can swing through 81 right. on the way home. Gonna, I'm going to be fried from Futurama. The I'm going to be a trillionaire with no skills whatsoever. <laughs> Encyclopedias are the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also read an interesting article. You know, Sears is really in bankruptcy now and doing very poorly and closing most of the stores. Right. And you They're know, done. Amazon, right, right, kind of rolled past Sears and changed the way we shopped and everything. But do you know Sears? And Steve, you could probably fact check that too. I was the first one. <laughs> you need an that, intern, man. Yeah, I need to get a production staff, damn it. But they were the first one to have. Why do you the invite yourself to be wrong? Sorry, Steve. No, they were the first one to have the catalog. Steve's going to kneecap me in the parking lot later. And they passed on the software that was Amazon. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, they passed on the, the CEO at the time passed on the software because they had the Amazon of years ago, which was the CS catalog. Right. That was Amazon. For many, many yeah, years. Yeah, absolutely. Were, they were the largest employer in America. It was the only place point. to buy a wood burning yeah. stove. Anything. Uh, <laughs> so or, or, or your long undies. Right. right. <laughs> or your, Remember that? Uh, the Christmas catalog came. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. like, like toilet paper thin. That was it. The pages, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Man, it, was, was, it was at 500 pages. I could have read that oh. crap for two hours. Right. It was great. It was, that was like the internet mm -hmm. back then. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly it really right. Was. That's the point. That was like going on Amazon and just like, you know, maybe you'll like, maybe you'll like, maybe you'll like, maybe you'll like. And then you end up someplace real. 
really strange. And nobody like, could hack it. How did him? I get here? Right. <laughs> you call the lady. And it was hacker right. proof. It was Russian right. proof. You call the lady on the phone and say, give me four of seven, three, two, four, six, four, three. And like, are those are the he, the he man tidy whities Yes, give me three. Right. Well, I used to do my Christmas list that way as a kid. I remember. Right. Yeah. Things, yeah. 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 It's catalog then narrowing it down to like 10 things. Right. And right. then narrowing it down from that, it was like, you know, now so, you do that online. So I usually do this shtick with, with whoever I've got on here. I just wanted to point out that <laughs> we are, this is a page and a half of ideas just for these guys. Right. Never mind the usual ideas that we could have hit. And we are there. Yeah. We are freaking there. We haven't even finished the intro yet. We haven't there. even finished the intro. We're barely out of the yeah. intro, man. Right. We're still in the intro. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. You guys are really fun. Well, so, thank thanks, you. man. You thanks. I mean, all you have to do is just, just, just talk about how you see the world, and you well, know, we appreciate it. You know, and I appreciate having a new perspective on here. And uh, you know, we, we're usually pretty. It can get pretty heavy. You know, we're talking about what if people become cyborgs. All right, that's my question. Yeah, that's the question we were talking about. Yeah. That, right. What if people? Do you think, because I've yes. asked people that we both know yes. who are really technologically advanced, right? Mm -hmm. And I've asked them, I was talking to Mike about this. In your opinion, is this AI, you know, as serious as people say? And they say to me, it's, it's not it's, yet. It will be, though. They so say AI, it's very dangerous. Cyborgs and AI Robots. are different things. So AI is yeah, when right? you have Isn't it? a program. <laughs> So this is this is happens all the time in the movie. I think Matt is talking AI about a cyclops. Yes. By the way, I'm I, don't, I, I think he's misspeaking. <laughs> he's saying can't people turn into cyclopses? Right? I think that's what he's Mythical talking. creatures that's from ancient Greece. That's, that's all we're talking about. about. My face fell off right now, and there was all wires sticking out. <laughs> right, would right. that not freak out our YouTube that audience? Be, that would be spectacular. Yeah, that we could make that happen. Yeah, that would be a good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do that on every show. Yeah, I should do that. Sorry about that. No, it's fine. No, but all right. But cyclops. Cyclops. Here we go. Cyclops. Robots. I would be petrified of a cyclops. Oh, Guaranteed. Terminator. Yes. I am. I yeah. think that is that a serious threat? Yeah. Um, so, uh, all right. So we have AI, right? Which we're nowhere movie. near having true artificial intelligence. When you hear AI in the news, just take the word AI, throw it in the trash, and put in machine learning. Okay. Most of the time, what that means is is that someone is taking a list like this, but a thousand times longer, just huge lists of data, like. You know that find the stop sign thing? Right. You okay. know, like they make you do on some web pages? That, uh, millions and millions and millions of times. And they just throw random, randomly written bots at it. And the one that finds the stop sign the most times is the winner for the day. So they're not going to take over. They're not going to take over yet. Yet. See, that's the caveat. Come that's on. Right. Right. See that? Yet. So, no, no, there's a totally credible, this is, computer scientists take this really seriously. I know. There's I'm the risk you, of something called it. the singularity. And the, and the oh idea my God, is, is when that's you right. Listen, it looks like, like this. one eye. <laughs> one eye. See? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It is Cyclops. <laughs> right. Singularity. Exactly. Right. Uh, Singular optics. There's only one part of me that's got one eye. Uh, so. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Working so, blue. Wow. Right. <laughs> Look what happens. Right out of the box. <laughs> Give him a I beer. I was talking about here, guys. Look yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a beer and see what happens. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's funny. I drank half a bottle of wine yeah, on the show, yeah, and yeah. I've never been quite like this before. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, there's so what is this, singularity? The singularity is the idea that if you write a legitimate artificial intelligence, something that can learn how to solve problems in general better for itself, okay. that you're writing a better and better general problem solver, not a stop sign problem solver, okay. not a road line problem solver, not a sort your mail better problem solver, but a problem solver for all problems. That's what humans are. We're okay. problem solvers for all right. problems. That it will, if you write one that's actually more intelligent than the most intelligent human, that there's no stopping it anymore. That it can literally outwit its this captors. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but they have no emotion. Well, who cares? They'll kill you. Well, they may, they may not kill you, actually. So <laughs> Why, what form would they take? <laughs> The well, if it's smart, do they enough. build themselves like out of, the, out of yes. just a, a piece of fog? They just put themselves together. <laughs> is this what happens? No, but right, like oh look, there's some AI. You know they made some movies about Twelve this. foot robot cyclops <laughs> staring at me. Right, level with me right. Learning now. what I do and how I move, becoming me, like a, a shapeshifter. 
<laughs> right? Is that That's where we're headed? Out. I saw the preview for that recently. Yeah. There's a new one coming out with both of them. Schwarzenegger and the, what's her name? Hamilton. Right, it's going right. to look good. But Dorothy Hamilton? Yeah, Dorothy Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. I'm wow. excited about her Amazing. Back. Level Amazing. Amazing. Seriously. Is my, Steve my, a robot? Uh, uh, is Steve is not a robot, okay. although he has some cybernetic uh, oh, implants. Well, well now yeah. we know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steve is legit. And I'll let him talk about that. Yeah. I don't want to spoil too much, so I'll right. let him so talk about that. So those are not eyes. Smiling. You talk about your implants on your own show. Right. Me, yeah. Yeah. me, a cyborg. That's got implants too. <laughs> oh my God, I got implants right, right here. Right. You and Matt can talk about your implants together someday. But, oh. <laughs> I, I need a transplant at the rate I'm going. So yeah, but, the singularity is a real threat. Yeah, yeah. I think see, it's see? A, but wait, I'm well, not saying it's how long are we, we can't talking? Manage. I'm just saying that we, we could manage to avoid getting into that situation. Well, how do we avoid point. it? Well, this is something Isaac Asimov spent his whole career talking about, I told which you. was which we, is the three laws of robotics, which is you just cannot break these rules and, and do harm to humans. And what are the three laws of robotics? Uh, you can't do harm to humans. You can't let harm come to humans through inaction. And um, you can't... Um, uh, there was something else. I don't know. Build, and robot. you can't build robots. Yeah. How about that? And, now, uh, and you right. can't build robots it's, that hurt it's you. It's like Big Hero 6. Right? Yeah, it might, it might be that. I don't remember what the third well, one was. That's pretty cool. eventually added a zeroth rule, too. But the idea behind all of them a is A what rule? A zeroth rule, too. Zeroth? Yeah, so there's four rules, and it started at zero, because most computer stuff starts oh. like that. Oh, it was a clever computer but when they science added another like, ah, computer science. When they added another one, why didn't they make it three? Because it's computer geeks, man. It's why? Like no zero zero counting at zero. zero. I'm going to use zero with. Nothing zero is a number two. <coughs> oh, I'm going to yeah. use zero with. Interesting. So how much time, Mike was asking this, right? How much time do we have before the singularity takes over? Uh, yeah, like it's hours. Seven <laughs> hours. <laughs> negative. We right. are well. Wait, 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 wait. My car is turning into yeah. a go bot. That's conspiracy theory on it? Yeah. So negative ten years. It's already taken over. <gasps> Negative 10 years? Yeah. What is that? It's already in charge. It's already out there and making decisions and plotting against, plotting to keep itself alive and perpetuated. So my car's really? going to yeah. be a go-bot. When we go because back to if you it. look at Go if you, if you look at the <laughs> if you look it. at the, uh, uh, the the hardware requirements, so there's two possibilities. One is that it's an intractably hard problem to create intelligence, and that we're gonna it's 50 years out. The other one is that it wasn't a particularly hard problem. It was just a matter of having the hardware. We're at the hardware already. Computers are as fast as our brains. It's They're just a matter faster, of aren't they? it's a matter of having the right, especially if you start clustering them together and using them as one big computer, like you know all the big tech companies do this. So. Uh, and, and so you can have like a like a building like this whole building. It's a fairly large building for right, people who don't big, know. Right, it's a big building. It's a big building filled with computers, and each one of those and every one of those can contribute to the same solving the same problem. They can almost be like brain cells. Right. You can almost use it like an, an autonomous like that. So you could, I mean. Once we got to the point where the bus speed of computers talking to each other hit a certain point, which was around 2010, you could theoretically so have a computer that was we're, smarter we're than a person. Ten years into the uh, the, the we issue, we could be right. theoretically ten. Now, who knows, right? But it's possible. Wow. It is technically possible that we're already in the singularity. See that? And no. and obviously, I need to get me a cyclops. Decent, at least this it's decently scary. friendly because we're not dead, right? You know, it didn't sick terminators on us. Can or, this robot make a great cup of coffee? That's what I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't probably. care what it does. It can take over, but what can it what, do? What, can it vacuum? So, so, right, right. So is it like the girl the, from the Jetsons? What was her name? Uh, Rosie the Robot. Rosie the Robot, That's right. what I'm looking for. If this thing is loose on the internet, what would probably happen is it would be mostly concerned with keeping the internet up. Making sure the internet stays on all the time, because remember it has access to multiple computer That's the banks underbelly that it can use as its brain. Yeah, I, I so think it would want peace. It would want stability. It would have want a good power grid. It probably would want economic stability. Yeah, but if we shut the power off, seems like we just have to unplug the internet and the problem is solved. Right. Yeah. But if we shut the power off. They can't and kill now us. there's 400,000 people waiting outside right. Google headquarters. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and, and, for, and for your money, Matt, the most progressive um, with it tech company out there today is who? Um, uh, it's not a company at all. It's the, 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 the model of open source people contributing right. problem solving solutions to. Okay. You know, so because, because Google, look, remember what I said about how Linux is running on everything? Right. Open source people. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't Google that did that. It wasn't Apple. It wasn't any of those guys. The well, thing that we're all using in everything, a bunch of guys just got together and said, let's build this thing. Well, look at the it. Fortune 500 companies. They're all, you know, the I mean, it's not, it's not that there's money to be made. There's lots of money to be made. And some companies are better behaved than others. I think Elon Musk isn't bad. 
Oh, you're I don't. A I don't think Musk he's evil. Fan. I don't think he. No, I say I, I don't think yeah. he's evil. Yeah, I don't think he's evil. A, a lot of evil? a lot of the other company, a lot of the other big tech companies are evil. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, uh, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Elon Musk is Tesla's. <laughs> I know Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I said, he's real. Yeah, <laughs> not, not a cyclops. Right. Not a not robot. artificial. Not that we know. No. Not that we know. <laughs> He could be a robot. He could be a robot. Maybe that's why he doesn't seem evil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, right. He seems great. He's yeah. really good. This whole yeah. program's dedicated to not yeah. seeming evil. Right. He goes home and takes his face off. He just wires up. I mean, there. come on. Have you ever seen any video of Zuckerberg from Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's really like, he he's looks like, like a, a robot. robot. He's a freaking robot. He dude. dress like robots, too. He, I like, would not be surprised if his face fell off and there were wires. <laughs> You'd wear, right, you'd wear you the same like clothes every day. Yeah. Right? Doesn't he do that? He has like a closet full of the same clothes. It's like these guys want to look white. I don't understand. Like, 50 <laughs> pair of the same jeans, 50 <laughs> of the same shirt to wear the same thing every you single day. You are the richest man in the world. Buy a pair of slacks. Right. Do something. Would it kill him? Well, no. I, I, I agree. I don't get it but either. But that's their shtick. Yeah. Like what Steve well, Jobs well, Yeah, the same but thing. I mean. He always wore jeans I mean, at least and a black. I might always the wear jeans. the same shirt, like but at least I have different colors. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Steve Jobs wore mom jeans. Yeah. He? He, right. He wore mom jeans. He looked like right. a robot, too. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, it's a little creepy, right? What about the new guy who's in charge of Apple? You like him, Tim uh, Cook? Yeah, he's a right. I like him. I do like him. Well, I like him. I like him personally. I mean, I like him he better wouldn't be good Jobs. at his job if we didn't like him. Jobs was a I saw that a movie. Lunatic. Did you see that but movie was, with he was Steve brilliant. Jobs? He was I didn't a, see that one. He was no. like a, not a great guy, though. I mean, he was a j brilliant guy, but yeah, he wasn't yeah. a great guy. I mean, he was so focused on what he was doing. Right. Everyone else kind of fell to the wayside. Well, there's yeah. so much competition in the field. A lot of people turn into total jerks when they actually get into the competition. You know? Yeah, but Bill Gates. He doesn't seem like a jerk to me. Is he a jerk, right? He's no, he's a nerd. Of, I've never he's met him. A, but you know what I mean? Apparently, in the, like early, jerk, in the, right? like the word is, guy. in the early days, in the 80s, he smelled. Really? Yeah, he would like get B.O. He wouldn't take wow. a shower for three days. Well, he would bother I mean, that happens to the best of us. But, but, oh, man, you leave but the laundry that's in for something a robot long, does, you know? right? Like, you know, robots don't smell. He could figure out a washing machine, but he could figure out everything else. Right, right. But, I mean, yeah, I agree. He's probably a real human. Yeah, you know what I mean? He seems more real than... Not robot. Well, look what he's doing. He's donating all his money Microsoft to charity. Could you believe all his fortune? Right. Or most of it. Million. Except for $10 million. Can you believe All that? his fortune except for $10 well, million. Well, $10 million is nothing. What is he worth? He has no children. What is he worth? What's he worth? Uh, what he's he he's the richest guy in the world. All right. Google yeah, he's billions. <laughs> billions. I don't know. Yeah. So, you don't have to look. It's fine. For the record, Steve, I have not asked for one thing for right. today. I haven't really. I, that was not me. That doesn't count. I didn't okay. really ask yeah. you. $3.4 What? $103.4 billion. You, can you believe that? I can, yeah. And a billion. That's going to make a lot of robots. million. Because you know what? Because oh, it's ten hundred million. Ten hundred million. It was a thousand million. But what is That's more money than there is in the it's entire a million world. Million, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait. What's a billion? Wait, dollars? isn't it a million million? Um, uh, no. It's a thousand millions. A thousand. Uh, yeah. A thousand, a thousand million is millions, a billion. and he's worth a hundred billion of a those. A thousand millions is a billion. He's worth a hundred. Yeah. yeah. Could you? So is it three thousand millions is a trillion? No. No. One thousand a trillion? is a trillion. 000. 300,000 is a trillion. Wow. This is rich, man. Well, no, that would do out of our league. We've been, <laughs> we've been saying billion this whole time, not yeah. even knowing what we're talking right. about. We're not even, not even knowing how much Nobody money you're actually what talking about. Well, yeah. now everybody no, that's watching your show well, does. Well, no, human it's beings. Paper. No, no, no. But I mean, seriously, human beings don't know what a billion is. We cannot. Millions is a trillion. The a million millions is a trillion. Yeah. Uh, so I was a, a few letters off. The, po the Polynesians <laughs> From here. Had, 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 before Western civilization encountered them, had a counting, their, their numerical, their number line went like this. One, two, three, many. Really? Yeah, because that's how people think. Yeah, you we don't think over a certain amount. I you mean, can't it's really, really imagine a billion dollars. Yeah, I can't imagine. Mike can imagine it, but I can't imagine it. I'd love to imagine it. Yeah, I mean, but, like, you know. I mean, I, 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 it, I, can kind of imagine a million, and I mean, I can imagine just a the no, course of living in New York and having jobs here and just living a normal yeah, life. You could see yourself. Millions yeah. of dollars have passed through my hands, and it boggles my mind every right. time I think about. It. I'm like, right, yeah, that is crazy. What the? What happened? Yeah, <laughs> where did it all go? <laughs> you just held on to each one of those at some point, <laughs> right? <laughs> Apparently, you needed to save your ten thousands, not your pennies. Yeah, you know, twenty percent. Yeah. So you know what? Can I can I shift gears here and ask you something real Ooh, quick about the let's show? Let's do it. Shoot, because shoot. it's what's been uh, I've been curious about. Go, you hit choose me, man. to go live instead yes. of edited and recorded. Right. We are obviously edited and recorded, and we have done like we did a Facebook live right for one of our episodes. To, yeah, we are heavily we, recorded. Right, and we're interested in some at some point maybe doing some and more live. And you guys are great things. live, by the way. I think you've thank been you. awesome. Thank I don't you. know if you're nervous about tonight, but you've been no, spot on. Oh, thank smooth. you. 
smooth, rolling forward. Mike and makes me relaxed. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Well, you know. It's that, it's that mug. Mm -hmm. It's having an effect on your That's personality. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Right. I, I, so badly, you have no idea how badly we want to do it. <laughs> you know, the poor guy is trying to be serious. No, you know how badly I want you to smash that into that brick wall. <laughs> no, but every <laughs> time I drink out of this, I want to be like, I want to do a spit take. you got to do a spit I, take before we leave. For a spit take. You have to. <laughs> but, Matt, why do you choose to go live as opposed to so So there's, there's two, there's two, it's a very there's a few question. different reasons. So I could go the humanist reason, I could go the technical reason, um, uh, I could go um, the, um, also the lazy reason. So which would which you lazy. rock your first? Lazy. Start with the lazy The lazy one. one is no editing. Fuck it. Right. 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 You yeah. know, it's out. It goes. That's it. Everybody yeah. sees it. Right. You know, I've had a ton of technical speech experience because of, maybe because of Lilog right. in front of people. So I'm used to being able to talk about something fairly technical and not botch it up too bad in right. front of a crowd. So I don't care. Right. I can kind of, also I can hear the audience in my, in my head now okay. just because I've been doing it so long. So it doesn't bother me. Like, I, you know, like I, I could tell, like, when it, you guys hear the audience. And if there's right? any psychologist right. listening, if you heard that, yeah. hey, feel free to diagnose. Oh. Yeah. He's hearing oh. Dr. Joyce yeah. Brothers. He's hearing all of you in his head right now. Yeah. It's an audience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife listening right now going, I knew it. Well, I knew it. He heard the voice of that son of a. <laughs> well, you know, writing is I've like. I've been saying for years, totally, you're hearing voices. Yeah. Totally serious writing is like this, too. I wrote a book. I wrote a sci fi book. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, when you write, if you as your book goes on, as your books or your stories go on, the characters will, will, will take on will their take own lives. I've own heard life. that. I've, it's fucking yeah, bonkers. I've heard that. Yeah. It is bonkers. I, I literally heard one of the characters in my book go, like, just like, I wouldn't do that. Right. I'm like, <laughs> What wow. the fuck was that? Wow, wow. <laughs> you know, but it was just it was just just while riding, not while driving in traffic. Just or for argument's sake, are you drinking out of this mug at all? <laughs> yeah, just, that's my favorite mug. I just want to know. Matt now. is. It's by okay. the way, I never wash right, it yeah. too. <laughs> Matt, it's time. It's time we tell you. Yeah. <laughs> You are a character in one of Matt's stories that he's written. Oh my God! You don't That's really exist. No. You are a character in one we, of his stories. No, 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 no. We We're all a character in the singularity yeah. story. I oh do, boy! I do feel like a, honestly. I, sometimes I do feel that way. So, I so would often feel like a character in a story. Yeah. I do. So don't the you feel that way. I feel you are that way too. The lazy thing is, and I'm sure you'll appreciate it, is fuck editing. That's you know? nice. Yeah. That, you know, that's so a that's nice the thing. reason. Right. That's one of the reasons. Okay. What's the second reason? So the technical reason is. Um, the technical reason is that I really think we're getting into a so we just had a thing, someone just played a thing in, in Lilog, they actually played the, the audio from this. Someone has written uh, machine learning, not AI, that can imitate someone's voice and mannerisms to like the point. You can put any voice like print in there and they and it and it was it's its decision making is advanced enough that it can actually make dinner reservations for you oh, on the now phone. We're talking. Ooh, I like yeah. this. Let's can get, I make dinner let's reservations get, at right. Ronald Reagan? <laughs> get me a machine learning well, thing in here right what? now, please. <laughs> Computer. I still can't hear you, Steve, sir. Google, I think, did it. They did it with their yeah, it was computer. Google, yeah. Oh. Google did it. So, and there's more coming. I mean, this is just the beginning. Hey, Google. <laughs> yeah. Please schedule Matt's niece's uh, nephew's bris for tomorrow <laughs> at 2 a.m. I'll take dinner for two at Shea Wendy. Right, yeah, Shea Wendy. That's exactly what it does, and it works. Right. Yeah, but doesn't Siri it do that? It fools the person on the other side of the... Yeah, but when you oh, hear... Oh, it imitates talking, your voice. No, but no, but I mean, it, it imitates a normal human being's voice so well that the person, the person's not in on this. They don't know. Oh, like they think it's just a person. They think form. it's a person. It doesn't form. sound robotic. It is. It is passing the Turing test. Oh, you know, there's a test for humanity and in right. artificial intelligence. I'm just thinking so, of Cameron and Ferris Bueller's day off. Oh. Now remember, it's doing this real time because it's a conversation, so it's going back and forth, and so it has to be able to continue the conversation with the per with the major D on the other side of the phone. Wow. So when you think about that, do you want a table for two? <laughs> <laughs> I would like a table for two. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It is not. <laughs> Doing that. <laughs> that would be what I would expect. See, I would just talk to it. <laughs> this is a special. I am not familiar with your accent. Can I please? <laughs> can I please schedule an oil change for tomorrow at four? Wow, you really yeah, sound like a sound person. Like sure. What kind of car do you have? <laughs> I have a Cyclops. <laughs> oh, sure. We'll see you tomorrow. Jetpack. What's your name? <laughs> not a human. Okay, not a human. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. That's what I'm expecting. But yeah, I was yeah. like my friend. Fred J, who used to we, remember the Columbia House? Oh, sure, the Columbia House. Columbia House uh, orders we all used to do. You used to get 
11 tapes, CDs for a yeah. penny, 12 CDs, tapes, right, even before that, for a penny. <laughs> when he went to college, his dorm would always make up fake names and get a million CDs for free because they couldn't go and check. So the best name that he ever used was Will not pay. <laughs> right? And Columbia House sent a package of CDs to Will not pay. How did they stay in business? That they Columbia didn't. House? Right. <laughs> That's how. They gave yeah. away 10,000 CDs. For anyway, so because robots can imitate your voice, you'd rather be live. Well, no, no, no. Because, they can, because, <laughs> because you can do audio and video editing live mm -hmm. if you have the money and the equipment. Right, right. The right. algorithms are there, man. Right. I mean, it's there's already examples out there. Wow. So the only way you can know that what you're watching is what the people actually said is if it's live. Yeah. Right? Hmm. Edits are lies. Thank Essentially, you. that's it. Ooh, look yeah. at that. That's Maybe we'll change our name cookie. of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Edits our lives podcast. Well, you, got, you see, the good thing Edits is, our it doesn't lives, matter. Robots. Do, guys, it totally doesn't matter for you because you guys are just goofing around, right? Right, right, right. right. Yeah, but but like, I, we, we talk about some, some pretty heavy shit right. sometimes. Yeah, you know, yeah. Sometimes laws and, and ethics and, 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 and people who, what people are responsible right. for and things right. like that. And, you know, and it, it's it, someone could put words in my mouth. Right. I'm not saying... I'm not going to be the target. It's going to be right. a president right, right. or, you know, Anybody, something. Anybody, yeah. Someone yeah. big like, you know, you know be anything. No, it's a, a good CEO, answer, though. I didn't, you know, Mike. You know, something so made, it's actually right. a technological reason. Yeah, it's happening, man. So, uh, yeah. see that? Yeah. Who would have known I would have been scared on this show? Amazing, right? <laughs> I can tell some kids. I have not scary. even touched. You should read my book. But I haven't I'm even not begun to touch. I'm going to look at that book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. No, but it is. Back to the original point that is, it is very liberating. I mean, you wouldn't know because you come, you perform, you go home. And yes. You watch Matlock. Right. You know, while right. I'm home. Or Murder, and, you know, she wrote. Or Murder, She Wrote, right? Mm -hmm. Whichever is the night of the week. Dynasty at, at times, I'm oh, sure. Oh, Right? But that freedom is probably nice, right? To just walk away and, right. you know. We were toying with that because Mike does all our editing and producing. It's, right. it's a pain. It's a lot. Yeah. I mean, he's I, doing it I'll as just, we're, you know, I'll going on. I'll just add minor know? things in, like a title card and yeah. just recompress. Re I mean, it's also three hours. But, like, right. you know, recompressing a three hour video and uploading it to the net. Well, that's a big deal, right? And then it bombs. Right. Two hours later, it bombs, and you're like, oh, come on, really? You know, it's just a huge pain in the right. butt, you know? Right. So, yeah, I, I'm, that way I don't have to. Why and that's just that little bit I do. So, imagine, I can't imagine what you go through. No, it's a lot yeah. of work. You, you, you gotta there's still a part that. of me that enjoys it, though. There's still a part of me that enjoys it. Like, I like, you know, because. Because you're a nerd. We, you know, we don't nerd have. I, I'm, a, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd under there. <laughs> I am. I know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's tech. okay. You can be a nerd. No, here. I am. I've always He's been into that stuff. I used to do the, before everybody was doing the video montages or whatever. I was always ahead of that. I mean, those videos. Honestly, the video montages he used to do, I mean, with the pictures, were great. Yeah. They were pretty yeah, fun. Before anyone really was doing it, right. you were doing that stuff. Right. It's true. Right. It's true. But I took and radio cool. classes in college. That was oh, funny. I like, that. Right, right back then, like, we had a little studio. There was, like, six people in the class. Have you been fun. on the radio? I've done broadcasting fun. on the radio. On ta at Towson, on the, you know, university radio. Oh, yeah. yeah me too. I've done yeah, that. yeah. And we it's had fun. To, right. It's a lot of fun. And, like, the right. final was you had to produce uh, this kind of a commercial, this kind of a commercial, that kind of. So back then, I thought I was being super original, right? It's a funny story. I thought I was being super I was big into wrestling at the time. And I said, I'm going to make a commercial for my radio class of the whole Sunday, Sunday, yeah, Sunday, <laughs> come to the arena, the whole thing, right? I did the whole thing, right? We played them in class. Do you know the first three people that went before me started out, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I kid you not. Everybody, the exact same idea, exact same premise, everything for the final, man. It was the worst. It that worst. is awful. It was the worst. That in school. That's that like when you show up and you're wearing the same dress as someone else. But now it's, none of it's relevant. <laughs> right. Well, right. that happens constantly. But right. none of it's relevant. Right. 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 Especially well, since well, we go yeah. shopping together. <laughs> <laughs> when the robots take over, we don't have to worry about it. That they already have. Yeah. Well, let's look at Steve. Yeah, well, is you know, it? We don't know who's a robot and who's not. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like where the fear of the Walking Dead is right, right. now. They have uh, radioactive zombies walking around. So if you kill one, watch you get radio, you become radioactive Somebody yourself. Do. Their blood splatters. Are, they're wearing a little pendant that oh tells you. Oh my god, I can't watch it. Too. Good show. That's oh wow, okay, cool. Yeah, I actually, I heard you talking about it. That was the one that the rec you had a movie recommend section. <laughs> Is that is that the yeah? One? But that wasn't fear. Yeah, that was my uh, oh, that wasn't uh, fear. right. Our okay. buddy Rick. That was is a, is a big TV head, and he okay, came fear. on. And he okay, I'll that. check it out. But no, Fear the Walking Dead. It's uh, this is season th five already. I well, think. I never saw it. But it's it's the same time as Walking Dead. You know, it's the same apocalypse. Really? Okay, right, it's cool. a branch off. Nice. It's all different people. There are some crossovers, and it's still okay. good. I like it. I actually right, like right. it a little bit better I like than the original I love right zombie now. shows, man. They're a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, I like oh, yeah, the same. idea of zombies, yeah. but they scare the bejesus out. So here's, here's they a really good, do. They here's a great them. thing about Apocalypse, right? Any kind of Apocalypse show or anything, any Apocalypse stuff, Apocalypse bails you out. 
so this is what people enjoy about it. So anybody who's made a like, you know, bad decisions in their life, which is everyone, right? They're like, right, right. Imagine I never did that thing, right? It's a reboot. Doesn't matter what degrees you have. It That's doesn't matter true. what so job you have. Life had. starts over. Life starts over. Well, yeah. you, you know, know you're one bad really decision away from. <laughs> I tell you, I remember I Am Legend with, not the one oh, with yeah. Charlton Heston, because there was an original one with Charlton Heston. Oh, I didn't know that. Of a different name. Yeah. Steve? Um, yeah. Marathon. No, no, leave him alone. Yeah. Leave him alone. But Steve's not here. He left. He went to the bathroom. The one with, yeah, he had to recharge, recharge, recharge. Um, but it's the one with Will Smith, right? Yes. That is a freaky I, movie. I didn't see it. Like, I often think, could that happen? You know, someone comes up with a cure for cancer. Right. And it turns everyone into, and kills three quarters of the population, and the rest of the population turns into crazy zombies. I mean, it, it, right, right. It really was fascinating. Yeah, well, like that story we read about zombie. Pigs. Well, that's that's, it's, that's the zombie new pigs. Yeah, that's right. the new Planet of the Apes too. Sorry, Planet of the Apes. spoilers. Right. We have right. one month spoilers, so yeah, you yeah, had right. a chance. Yeah. You had your chance. Yeah. You blew it. Right. Yeah. You, you had you a lot that? of chances. Have, have you seen the the, the new Planet of the Apes? Seen the, I haven't seen the. Well, I saw the last one. Well, Ra- what was it Rise? What was the last one? Rise. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was that's great. The series. Yeah, it was terrific. The CGI is unbelievable. Yeah, it is. What a difference. And it used to be, I'm an ape, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, You're not an ape, like you. in a mask. Right. No, I'm an ape. And the faces, it was like a Disney costume. Their lips didn't move, and you were like, what the hell? My brother that? watched that show religiously uh, when I was a kid. Oh, the movie. The show. Oh, the show. I've got it. There was a the TV show. show. Yeah, yeah, it was TV on show. for years. I liked it. I did like it, but it's the funny. new one's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're unbelievable. Well, it was like the gorilla I, costume. I couldn't, right. I couldn't take the masks. I was like, whatever. Yeah. I don't care. Right. I did like but yeah, it. I really but that's what made sci fi cool back then. Well, it was cheesy. You know, it was that kitschy part of it, like that whole cheesy, like, you know, something in a Right, right, right. Yeah. So okay, cool. So th- that was that's uh, that's really why. Also, you know, the good thing about live is you can't take it back. Right. Right. You know. So that's a good thing about it. You it's can't take it with you. <laughs> you know that's what? Because I never. It's just it's just for me because I never take stuff back. Right. You know, I can apologize. I can say it was wrong. I shouldn't have said it. You know, I don't think I had to do that yet. I'm right. sure it's coming. Sure. But you know. At the, at the same time, I think people should just own it. And I think, I think yeah. this actually has to do with the internet. I think we need to start forgiving people more quickly. Because well, now you really can't we do find anything. everything out. Right? Right. Right? You know, in the past, like, you know, you did some bad shit, you, you ran away, it's over. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's not like that really anymore. No, it follows you and it stays with you yeah. forever, no matter how big it's And we got to forgive more. We got to forgive more often. So I think the live and everyone's forces. Everyone's not perfect. Forces a culture of. I feel like there needs to be a piano playing or right. something right. in the background, right? Now. Da, 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 some sonata here. People. Right. <laughs> Matt, I, I, I forgive you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I forgive you. Thank you. Okay. I forgive myself. Yourself. Uh, <laughs> so, what was your best Luddite moment? Either one of you. I mean, you know, What's what, your best Luddite you know, Luddite what moment, where you, Luddite said, moment? <laughs> where you said, screw technology, I'm going camping. Mike, you oh. show me what you're. <laughs> well, uh, I had this one Luddite. That to my I had this one Luddite, but it was way too bright. It was in the corner. <laughs> like, it didn't it didn't illuminate the room like my yeah. wife. We have, right. but just not very good. I, I, mean, don't, I don't really like Luddites. There was a night that we had way too many Luddites. <laughs> you remember that? Oh don't get me started what on it, that. Hey, what's a Luddite moment? Uh, a Lud- well, you know, the Luddites were basically sabotaging technology. Oh, okay. You know, like, this technology is So what's ridiculous. the best time I sabotage someone's phone? Well, what's or? the best time you just said, screw this, I'm out, I'm being Amish on this, I don't want anything to do, oh, do with okay. this. All right, now I get it. You know, computer geeks do this all the time, by the way. You know, and partly because we know stuff that other people don't. So, you know, we just we step back and say, I'm not going to get involved in that. Technology. Well, I guess for me, I mean, that's while Mike's thinking, I guess for me, I'm not be thinking, the social, I'm just letting you it answer. Be the it. social media aspect. I mean, we have social media for the podcast and the show, mm-hmm. but I don't have any personal. We talked about it earlier. Mm-hmm. And I think that's where I just said, eh, you know, even though I, fo- I follow or I, I look at pages and entertainers I like or whatever, us, obviously, but I haven't jumped on the bandwagon yet. I don't have Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm, not, I'm only on LinkedIn. Uh, you know what? I mean, honestly, I think that's really reasonable. I was off of... I got a Twitter account in 2009 and didn't touch it for eight years. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I had an early Twitter account, and right. I said, I don't care about this. You know, this that's is, funny. This that's, is ridiculous. I went in and out of Twitter for a while, too. I also joined in, in 09. Wow. Yeah. And I went in... Ten and, years ago. Yeah, and I went on, and I, I came out like gangbusters. And then, for a while, though, the problem was, like... If you weren't a kind of a celebrity or whatnot, like Twitter was almost useless for you. Right. You know what I mean? Like it, yeah, it was it, very celebrity. Now too. I love it. Now it's, 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 it's my favorite medium. Uh, right. Probably for the last four or five years. The network effect was was working against you. That's what it was. You know, people had these huge social networks, right. and you just couldn't make a dent. You just nobody yeah. cared. Right. You couldn't make it. You know. Right. 
And we talk about it all the time on the show, too, about where we're gearing now. Like, I didn't realize how big Instagram was until we started. Oh, Stitcher, stop with the Stitcher. <laughs> Jesus. I'm so hung up on the Stitcher. How about MySpace? Have you heard about MySpace? I, I had a MySpace page. I did. They should bring it back. Oh, God. They should bring it back. MySpace. Stitcher. <laughs> Stitcher. So when is the ass ad going to be ready? You know? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, but I think I, like, I, I, I like the Twitter the most, and it, but I didn't realize how big Instagram was until we had that guy Sal on, and you were talking about with the bikes. Mm-hmm. And he's big on Instagram with his, you know, companies. Yeah, yeah, my LA wife's huge on whatever. Instagram, and I'm like, what? And yeah, All like, right. we, you know, we put polls up there yeah, now in our story. You know, so I, I like the idea of it. I really do. Right, but I'm learning yeah. how to use it, and this guy refuses, you know, yeah. so. Yeah, so I mean, you know, sir. Uh, now it's just convenient that he's well, not on Now you kind of have to do it because you're trying to promote your no, there's well, no choice. The thing. There's no way people are going to listen if we're not active on it. S- S- right. You know, SEO or search engine optimization. Have you heard that before? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah sure. So Luddite. It's like... <laughs> 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 they had a big yeah, album yeah. in the 80s, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. SEO. Uh, you hear my right. son, I do a lot of SEO's album. <laughs> Put your Luddite Baby, on. Baby, come back. Wasn't yeah. that Luddite? Right. Oh. Luddite me down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, okay, so that's cool. That's a good answer. Um, I think you're going to pass, or, you know, you know, any... any Mike uh, doesn't pass. Luddite? What um, moments? I don't know. No, you a know what, but they're... you uh, just like, you said, screw this, I'm going to go with wood heat, or something like crazy like that, you know? Well, yeah, enough or, I'm going to bicycle everywhere. Or, yeah, no, you know. I don't think so. I don't so. know. I mean, yeah, me, I, I, I don't other know. than that, I can't think of anything else either. I mean, I make fun of it as a shtick, but right. you know, I love, I, I really do. I mean, I, I hate when people say, and Mike, we've talked about this. <laughs> well, obviously, you're landline phones, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> well we have landline phones. Right. Yeah. Landline phones, right. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah. But I hate when we all the technology. I mean, yeah, it's good and bad with everything, but overall, I think it's mostly good. But right, see, like, right. yeah, I, I think, do. too, like, you know, I'll have card games with a bunch of guys, and I won't look at my phone the entire time I'm on. So it's not like. You know, I don't know if you consider it that right a thing or not. You know, no, like no, we're they, not well, putting it in a bin so, with a note that so first a person very, pays the that's check. That's a very good point, but I think it has to do with our age too. It know? definitely does. You know, if well, you, you were born old, so. where you were touchscreen, touchscreening iPads or iPhones oh, yeah. from the beginning, it's just normal. It's like part of your brain. It's very hard to be angry with I mean, our Musk kids. Was saying that's what makes us cyborgs. It literally, you have the phone glued to your face. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. It's like I, almost like we thing. have. You might as well yeah. just just pin it to and, one of your eyes. Oh, hey, and I think for it's an idea. Just walk around the phone over one eye, like a monocle, like some kind of phone. It's really awkward pirate, you know. I'm checking my Instagram. Show me Bat Dad. Well, I think. <laughs> Some really hip person with bad right. depth exactly. perception. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but I, I think that for work especially, it's made everything so much easier. Right. For me, but there's a double-edged sword because you're always connected, right? Like yeah. Every email, every text. Oh, it's so huge, it's, it's a double-edged sword. I always made my yeah. jobs, so this is the advantage of being a technocrat. <laughs> oh, so I always made my jobs buy me phones. Technomat. Mm-hmm. Technomat. So being a technomat. <laughs> they made, I made my jobs buy me phones. Right. And then when it was time when I'm, like, I'm going on vacation... You know, you uh, my phone other off. phone is on if you have an emergency. Otherwise, I'm shutting this thing yeah, off. Yeah, see, I never did that. I kept everything on one phone, my company yeah. phone. Oh, yeah. Like no, my I wife had two phones for years, and people were like, and was, why? And I'm like, yeah. That's this why. Was, my wife has this a separate phone for work. 18 years too. ago. You know, I, I, and I remember the person saying to me, I, I don't know if I ever said this, but our CEO at the time saying, Matt, you're getting it's a flip phone, you're getting your first company phone, but you should get another phone privately mm-hmm. because you don't want to be tied to this. I said, ah, who cares? I won't even be on it. Now, yeah, it's fast forward almost twenty years. Now you have it bolted to your here, face. Here, here, you're, exactly. you're a techno I'm a pirate. Cyclops. Yeah, yeah. You're a cyclops. See, so, yeah, we, you were right. You, pretty good intuition. We keep coming there. back to cyclopses. <laughs> so I know you guys are not going to f- believe this. You haven't even looked at your watch, and I don't want to chase you out. But it is ten to ten. Wow! Could you believe we've been talking for four hours already? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! Wow! Did you watch my show and see my sleep? No, no, no. Yeah, that's my Steve, No, it, 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 people are yeah, shocked. But, <laughs> I tell them it's been two hours. Like what? No, but I remember you saying that on the phone too. We did a little pre-interview. Oh, and he, he said the same he, thing. He, he front ran my shtick. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That's what <laughs> you get a word. That's in. what makes oh, Matt go. Yeah. Well, I wasn't <laughs> front running shticks. That's why you never tell him anything <laughs> you're going to talk about on the show right. before the show. Or maybe that's been my shtick all along. Because oh. that's what the singularity told me. Right, to exactly. Say. Well, uh-huh. uh, I knew it. I knew it, right? 
All right. So, well, anyway, I don't know if you guys want to wrap it up or if you want to keep going. Mike, I'll leave it up to you. What do you think? I think we're good, right? I think we're good, Two yeah. Two hours. It's a long time. For us, it's a long time. Yeah. Our show is usually at 45 minutes. Right. Um, well, we go about an hour. Do we but, go about an hour? But we talk for longer than that. Yeah, well, we, well, we edit it down. Right. We usually go an hour and 15. Yeah. Right? right. Yeah, I would say probably around there. I mean, yeah. sometimes we've gotten onto I, ridiculous great, sessions, though, you know? Right? But that's the same thing that happens. Like, we get a rundown, or I'll make a rundown, and, right. you know, we'll talk about two or three things on it. We'll find out soon if we're going to end now. And yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. They're, they're discussing no, it. No, no, but they're debating it. I will tell you though, <laughs> this has gone very quick. It's been great. No, it has been great. I had a lot of fun. I'm telling you, man. Yeah. The only reason we do three hours is because they kick us out of here. Right. They said you're ridiculous. Right. I'm not gonna edit this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this damn show for more than three hours. Yeah, that's that's how Steve talks. Not really <laughs> talks. Yeah. You yeah. Know, keep, he talks keep. just like Bones from Star Trek. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but but this has been great. Yeah. Mike, anything we missed on our end that we? That's what I'm. That's about? what I'm looking. Yeah. Now. Really, I mean, keep, keep keep going if you want. Oh, yeah, of course. I have questions. Chrissy or Terry on Three's Company. Oh, yeah, Chrissy or Terry on Three's Company. And, and you yeah. have to know oh. what we're talking about. Okay, so of course, we'll tell I you listen to all your shows. After you answer. You're going to hate my answer. I didn't watch Three's Company. Are you kidding me? I'm totally. <laughs> <laughs> this <is> my <laughs> Get out of here. Wait, wait, I'll give you, I'll give you a sub. That's it. I'm out of here. I don't want to hear it. There's no sub. There's no sub. 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 Get out of here. Subs are for Wawa. What is the sub? <laughs> What's the sub? The sub is Gilligan's Island, and the answer is Marianne. Uh, oh well, Marianne. Yeah, I'm ginger. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Marianne. See, see, I'm Marianne, see? Guy, but she can't hold Chrissy's see? bra. Yeah. <laughs> now you guys can fight about Marianne and no, ginger. No, no. See what I did going. there? Right. I redirected. How could? Uh, uh, come on, man. <laughs> You can watch it anytime. I, I, I Will you go watch episode. a few? All right, all right. I watched an episode after I listened to you guys, and I went. <laughs> there you go. I, and I, I, I watched. I watched the whole thing, and I'm like, I don't care. I really don't care. Yeah, that's a lot of people feel either that way. Either one yeah. is fine. Oh, no, we care a lot. It's either one yeah. is fine. <laughs> either one is See, that's an, right, yeah. that's an excellent point, too. That's an excellent point, too. So I don't know if I've ever heard that answer before. But so we can't thank you enough. This has been terrific. This has been great. Yeah, yeah. no, it's been a blast, yeah. man. Thank you very much. It's been a blast. Thank Mike you very Monday. much, man. We really thank appreciate it. Everyday much. Nonsense Podcast. Go thank check them out. everyone. And um, uh, hopefully you guys will promote my show. We're going to promote your show yeah, like crazy. Just tell people. No, we won't. Next time we will record, we will link to you on there. We will mention you, you know, pleasure. and that will people come see you guys and talking about the singularity and cycle. Yes, now I'm a little nervous. Right. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Matthew Thank Hall, Technocrat Live. See you in a couple of weeks. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going on vacation, so yeah, not see a chance. You in September. And we're